I mean, and that, that's what you're seeing in this day. Uh, uh, gender reassignment, gender neutrality. They got a new gender out called non-binary, the non-binary gender. It's over 300 genders now. When it's just, when it's supposed to be simply man and woe man. There's over 300 classified genders now. Y'all can Google all that. You feel me? Uh, as in the days of Noah. Take, take that off. As in the days of Noah. Also, uh, again, that, that unnatural selection that you put me on on that Netflix. Y'all need to watch that. Y'all need to watch that. When you're talking about biohacking. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's called unnatural selection. Yeah. Yeah, and it's real. You talking about uh, uh, editing your genes and biohacking this and doing that? They actually out here doing this. I'm talking about y'all. I ain't talking about in no lab. These heathens doing it in their garage. They send the syringes out of the DNA and shaking it up, and you know what I'm saying? To the point to where they're not even about to be classified as what you call man. You know what I'm saying? We talking about posthumanism, transhumanism, and all that. So as in the days of Noah, right, on there they had glowing animals. Remember you were showing me that. Then when the lights went out, these animals was glowing. I ain't talking about no lightning bugs either. When the last time y'all seen them? Oh, they went out of style. They went, they went out of style, huh? <laughs> Back in the day, we used to catch lightning bugs. All the time. I ain't seen them. I ain't even seen no lightning bug like we used to. We used to have jaws of them. We used to catch them all the time. You ain't gonna see them unless you go way out to the country where it's dark and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, it's straight. It's, it's, it's unreal. It's unreal, man. All right, y'all. We about to kick this off. We gonna do a. Uh, we gonna do a song. We gonna read on in, and we gonna go into some of these uh you know topics affecting our community. You know what I'm saying? May talk about whatever. Just let the spirit flow with it, a little taste. But look, these things going down. All your entertainers are, are choosing the lifestyle that's going to get this place destroyed. And, they, and, they, and they're taking it up as if it's okay. It's okay. It's innocent. Giving over little children. They're not even old enough to... That little joker probably still pee on himself. Yeah, he don't even know what he's going to do. He probably in a pull-up or boo-booing on himself. He's four. This little joker four. So Alicia Keys, son. You dig? And they setting them up for failure. Setting them up for failure. It's going to be a horrible judgment coming to them. Did the scripture tell you to train up your child? Train him up. Right? It don't say raise him. It actually says train him. It's a war that we in. This ain't patty cake. This ain't no play thing. This, this thing is, is beyond serious. And when you're seeing all your entertainers, Lil Nas X, you see what I'm saying? This cat's a, a homosexual country singer. Came out the closet, supposedly. You feel me? Entertainers. You listening to their music? You doing all that, man. That stuff ain't even supposed to be allowed. You will be calling it for what it is. It's wickedness. All right? What psalm you, what, what psalm you think he broke? Yes, yeah, it's, it's all good. You got, it, you got, it. you ain't got it. All right, all right Psalm, 80, Psalm eighty-two, y'all. We gonna face Jerusalem. All uh, praise, glory, now to the Most High, the owner, creator, and possessor of everything there is. Forever live His anointed, beloved Son in the hearts and minds of the faithful elect. All right, Psalm eighty-two. With the Most High's permission, this one is called unjust judges. Psalm of Asaph. The Most High Yah standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Say lie. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, Elion. But ye shall die like men, 
and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O Elohim, judge the earth, for thou shalt, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right, Yahoo. Uh, Let's get her done. Get her done. Turn that down a little taste. All right, y'all, for y'all <clears throat> that don't know, uh, we just was talking about the uh, basically giving up your seed over the Molech. You understand? Sacrificing the false gods, raising your children up, and all this, especially during this dark time of the year, it's the dark time of the year. You feel me? Around 2 and 3 o'clock, even in the afternoon, it just, it's a weird, uneasy silence that be in the atmosphere. It's the dark time of the year. From Halloween on in. Halloween, thanks still in uh, Black Friday, Christmas Eve, Christmas going into New Year's and the worship of Janus, the Roman god Janus. This is the dark time of the year. Depression is at an all time high. Everybody loves throwing pity parties. Everybody's sad. You understand? S uh, signing certain contracts with the adversary with their mouths. Agreeing agreeing to be in a state to where the most high can't even use you, right? I'm sad, I'm ugly, I'm depressed, I'm no good, I just can't, and you feel me? You got to watch what, what projects out of your mouth because you actually are signing contracts or coming into agreement or a covenant with the kingdom of darkness when you're speaking certain things, all right? First scripture we're going to go to, y'all, is Deuteronomy 18. Deuteronomy the 18th chapter. All right, Deuteronomy 18. All right, and we're going to read verses 10 through 14. This is the dark time of the year. Sit down. This is the dark time of the year. Make no mistake about it. All right, pretty soon people will be asking y'all, y'all in the Christmas spirit. No, the Holy Spirit, not the Christmas spirit. Right, it, it is a it, it is a dark force that's sweeping this earth, and we got to take our stand with the Most High. You got to, you feel me? Cast off all of it. The Most High is not dealing with weakness. He's not dealing with fear. You know the fear of Him, but I'm talking about the, with the weakness and the fear that the world projects. He's not dealing with none of that. He is the Most High power over all powers. You understand? And His power is an absolute. And the one thing is, he can't deal with us when we doubting, when we second guessing, when we fearful, when we when we weak. Holiness is not about being weak. You feel me? The Most High, the Creator of all things, is not a weakling. It's power, bold. Go boldly in the Spirit, all right? So we're gonna read this uh, Deuteronomy eighteen. Deuteronomy eighteen. We're gonna start around verse ten, right? And uh, matter of fact, we're going to start at verse 9. And if you can see in, in, in my Bible, they got this is a study Bible. They got everything sectioned off. It says right there, right over here. Israel to avoid pagan practices. You see that? Israel to avoid pagan practices. Deuteronomy 18, we're going to start at verse 9. And going to read down the verse 14. All right. Hey, go grab your Bible. You got one over there with your name on it. Go grab it and flip over to Deuteronomy. Let's get her done. Hey, did you kind of take that with you? Yo, look, your name on one of them. Turn, look, right there. The third book down. You see it stack? Take that with you. All right. Deuteronomy 18 is where we going. Flip open to Deuteronomy 18. We're going to start at verse 9. It's imperative and important for us to understand. Because look, if you ain't dealing with the Holy Spirit, you're dealing with a spirit. You are. What spirit is it? You see? Exactly. And the whole thing is, as quick as he just said, didn't recognize that. We get grown and start thinking there are gray areas and neutral areas. He he just figured that out real quick. Yeah. He's eight. 
He just figured that out real quick. It must be the spirit of the devil then if it ain't the Holy Spirit. You see? When we get grown and start trying to rationalize everything and then start thinking that we can play this thing neutral and not be all the way in. You either all the way in or you not in. You either in spirit and truth or you in the way. One or the other. All right. Deuteronomy 18. Deuteronomy 18. Uh, start at verse 9. Jakai, you want to read? What you mean now? Come on up here and read. Sit right there. Sit right there. You know how to read. Start at verse 9. What does it say? You got a young soldier. You there? What does it say? Start at verse 9. You in the wrong spot. Deuteronomy 18. Deuteronomy 18, verse 9. That's all right. We're going to wait on you. Deuteronomy 18 and 9. You feel me? It's imperative. And we got to steal these things in these short le leggers while they're young. Absolutely. I know you get louder than that. You know I know. You know how to speak up loud. Go ahead and speak up. Come on. When thou art turned into the land, which the Lord thy God gives thee, thou shalt not dare to do after the abominations of those nations. So you should not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. When the Most High give you this land, this chosen land. So what does it mean not to learn to do what the heathen are doing? What that mean? Basically, not just the holidays, but also their rituals. All right? But you're on point. Not to do what the heathens are doing. That's right there in the Bible. He tell you, when you come into this land, do not, do not copycat. Do not copy what you see the other nations doing. All right? Now, look, you go to school with other nations, whether they be so-called white folks or Chinese or whatever. You understand? And they form of worship and how they live is totally different than yours. You see? You was never supposed to learn what they do. It's right here in the Bible. And you just understood it partially because you said not to celebrate holidays. So now you know whether you're around me, your mama, your grandmama, whoever, or even the other side of the family. Should nobody be able to pressure you into celebrating, right? Right? Now, why? Because who said it? The Most High said it. Now you know, all right? When the Most High gives us this inheritance, we are not to learn what the other nations are doing, all right? That's a lesson for the day. Don't do what you see the other nations doing, even if you think they're your friends and you go to school with them, right? You're not supposed to do what they do, right? Now watch this, verse 10. It says, there shall not be, a there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch, right? To make your son and daughter pass through the fire, y'all, that was the ancient form of child sacrifice. They used to actually sacrifice their children to the gods of the other nations. When you say, well, I ain't doing that no more, they literally are not burning children no more. Or oh, so you think, right? So what are some forms that you could be sacrificing your children? Tia Bo, come on with me. What are some ways you could be sacrificing your children? 
Abortion is one. Give me some more. T.T. Nuki. Eat Abomination. That's another one. That's right. The hell of days of the heathen. That's right, Ima. You feel me? There are many ways in which you actually sacrifice now. It's more of a spiritual. It's more of a spiritual sacrifice now. Physically, abortions is one of them. Go ahead and do it for me, out. Abortions is one of them. You know, dressing up like heathens. Yeah, letting them watch this stuff on TV. You sacrificing them on so many different levels. You know what I'm saying? Shabbat shalom, family. Shabbat shalom. Right, you, you you sacrificing them on so many different levels. You know what I'm saying? Because you're allowing them to soak in and to mimic what the heathen is saying is okay. Right? You got to watch what they watch what they're looking at on TV. Everywhere, everything today is gay now. It's homosexual, homosexuality, witchcraft. A lot of it's passed off as innocent, charmed. All that, that, oh, that's witch, that's witchcraft. Yeah, the good witch, the good little white witch, right? You gotta, you you gotta, like, we gotta get out of this mode of trying to be our children's friends. Like, you are they, you are they parents, you are they lords, you, are, you like you're responsible for them. Not here to be your friend, right? Police the situation, who, what, where, when, why, and how, all the time. Go ahead. Yeah. We're opening up to whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we went over. Pedophilia, kidnapping. A lot of these children that's coming up missing is because they're exposed. They know exactly where you are. We all got locations on our phones. Yeah. Yeah. And there's all type of social media platforms. You feel me that these children are on? We went over last night. Bill Gates, who, who invented the iPhone, don't even let his children. They don't even own an iPhone. Not Bill Gates, that other man that died. Steve Jobs. Steve, Steve my bad, not Bill Gates. Steve Jobs. That's the one that came up with the Apple. Yes. Right? Yes. He the one that came up with the Mac computers, the Apple and all that. Yes. Do y'all know he didn't even let his children, that he didn't even allow them to own an iPhone. They weren't even allowed to play on one. And, and this the inventor of it. Because there's an, not just even the iPhones, period. It's an evil. See, if you're not careful... You'll be serving this thing. And, and, and to test it out is real easy. To test it out is real easy. If you can't function without your phone, if you get depressed because the battery done died, you get all full of anxiety and real anxious and all, you feel me, over a phone, something you weren't even born with, you did. Nine times out of ten, you're serving it. So basically it's an evil agenda. Yeah, behind it. You feel me? Now, just like the, the tree of knowledge of good and evil has some good on it. I mean, it can, technology can be used to still spread the word, you dig? But how many people out of 2 billion people on Facebook are actually there to spread the most high's message? Think about it. Think, is Facebook doing more harm to our people than good? Is it doing more harm or good? Doing more harm. It's doing more harm. You feel me? So again, we gotta watch that just because you don't see uh, somebody saying, I sacrificed my child to Molech and I'm gonna burn him. Just because you don't physically see that, there are still many ways in which you sacrifice your children. You feel me? Compromise and Halloween. Oh, we're gonna do it to church, trunk or treat. Right? But you're still, instead of standing up and saying, look, this is evil and this is against the Most High. This is an abomination. We don't do this. You would rather compromise. You're still sacrificing your children. All right? So he's letting it be known. Amongst my people, this is not to be found. Right? Again, verse 10. There should not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch. That's Deuteronomy 18 and 10. Which is right in there. You dig? And y'all, it wouldn't be no such thing as Satanism or witchcraft or the Wiccan religion if the Most High and His Son wasn't real. 
his enemies wouldn't exist. How do you have an opponent, you feel me, but you don't exist? How you got an imaginary opponent? Don't make sense, do it? Right? So the most eyes let it be known, these so-called ancient practices that you think is just, oh, that's cool to learn about the other cultures and how they worship. No, it ain't. It is an abomination. Abomination means something very disgusting in the eyes of the Most High. Deplorable. Something he hates. All right? And we need to know what our, what our Creator loves and what he hates. That way we know to what stay away from. All right, verse 11. Go ahead. Black Witch University. Black Witch. It's an online college, or yeah. I'm saying, is it an online college or? Wow, y'all, this thing is serious. I know brothers in the in the so-called uh, conscious community, like they actually celebrate Halloween. They like it's a portal open, and we're gonna be having some type of uh, 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 sex rituals going on on October the 31st. And these are men who walk around talking about some black power. And you would think these men were conscious, but on but on on the they're spiritual. It's just not the Holy Spirit. They're dealing with the kingdom of darkness, All right? We're not live. I'm just recording. Oh, okay, okay. This will be uploaded tomorrow. Oh, Yaki okay. should be live Yaki right now. Is live. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yaki oh, live. Okay. We not. I'm I'm just recording, and then I'm gonna upload this session tomorrow oh, on the okay. channel. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's basically what's going on. So when we see Alicia Keys putting up her four-year-old son, you know what I'm saying, telling us some she's supportive of whatever gender he want to choose to be, that's an abomination. When we see Dwayne Wade and Gabriel Union sacrificing their son, with Zaire Wade, boy nine years old, huh? tying his shirt up in the back, hanging his wrist and switching, Putting on his mama lipstick. They took him to the pride parade. And they took him to the gay pride parade. You understand? There, there's a judgment, you understand, coming from the most high to this place. They really uh, don't understand. Um, maybe they do, but like I, like you said, it's time out for us to understand that they don't understand the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. So to say somebody's life, they gotta sacrifice somebody's life. So that's what they do in the industry. And I'm so glad my mom never let me get into the industry because that's what I wanted to do when I first grew up. Yeah. And I held that against her for years for her not allowing me to become in the industry because I was in the profession at 14. She knew something that, of course, I didn't know. But at the time, you know, we're young, we don't understand. Yeah. Blood, y'all look, everything operating contracts or covenants. And blood. Everything does. You understand? There's a reason why you see all these entertainers and they be having to sign certain contracts or covenants and perform certain acts, you understand, and do what what's called a blood covenant. It did. The spiritual realm operate even with us. We up under a blood covenant. The Most High and His Son. Both covenants were dedicated with blood. You understand? It's just we dealing with the Son of the Most High. Right? And the sacrifice that the Most High accepted as a sweet smelling savor. You see, they look, these people done chose up. They actually done chose up to worship the adversary and his kingdom, and they all in. And look, they so far in, they got, they, they looking at us as if we the ones that's abnormal. As, we, as if we the ones that's going off. Your child, you are responsible for your children. You understand? And they may get mad right now, but they'll be all right. They'll love you later on. Thank you for doing that to me. Thank you for holding me in check. Yes. Especially during this time, man. They, they up against some stuff. We was up against some stuff too, but it ain't even comparable to the day. It's not, it's not even comparable. Now watch this. This right here is verse 11. Or a charmer. And they got the TV show Charmed. Right? Or a charmer, or a consultant with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. That's somebody that do something with dead corpses. Right. 
It's a sexual ritual they do with dead corpses. You know what I'm saying? They legalized that in Egypt a few years ago. Necromancy. All this is what's called black magic. Un unclean spirits. Familiar spirits. Things that are totally against the most high. You understand? Again, especially us men, women too though. You're supposed to police the situation with your children. Stop trying to be their friends. And be cool with them. You understand? Who, what, where, when, why, and how. Stop being afraid to say no. No, nah, you can't do that. No, you're not going over there. No. You understand? It's real. Spirits are being passed all throughout this earth right now. You understand? And we're supposed to be guardians of the earth and our families. All right? Verse, uh, verse 12, watch this. For all... For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Most High Yah. And because of these abominations, Yahweh, the Elohim, doth drive them out from before thee. You see, because of what they were doing on the land, it got them what? Put off the land. Right? What good is any piece of real estate or land if the people are wicked? The land becomes defiled based off the behavior and the sins of the people that occupy it. Yeah. Why do you think judgment is coming to America? Why do you think judgment is coming to Russia? Why do you think judgment... Y'all, majority of this earth is on fire right now as we speak. From South America to Russia, to Africa, to the West Coast here in America. You feel me? They show, I was watching a video uh, yesterday. They showed a map of everywhere is on fire. Majority of the earth is on fire right now. Yeah. He said, I'm going to send fire on earth. Right? So all they do, these things are an abomination. And because of what's done, action is what gets you put out the land. What you think got us put out the land? You feel me? Learning to do what the most I told us you better not ever do. Don't ever do that. Today everything is oh it's oh it's just it's just innocent and fun. Let them live, right? Y'all gotta watch that too. All that letting your daughters go to prom and all that. We know we was doing that prom back in the day. Keep it real. You feel me? You ain't supposed to be out here sacrificing your children. Do you know what go down at prom? I'm talking about after prom. Hotel rooms. Do you know what really go down? In our generation, we know it go down. You think my daughters are going to prom? And not only no. <laughs> not at all. You feel me? I'm not about to sacrifice my children. I'm going to put you out there like that. You see what I'm saying? Because that's exactly what you're doing. And if you realize you're responsible, the most high going to hold you responsible. You understand? For what you put in front of them. What you allowed them to do. He going to hold you responsible. Right? An abomination. Right? Verse 13. He says, Thou shalt be perfect with the Most High, thy Elohim. For these nations, which thou shalt possess, hearken unto observers of times, and unto diviners. But as for thee, Yahweh, thy Elohim, have not suffered thee so to do. The nations that you're going to possess, remember, Israel is above all nations. Right? You're going to possess or be the masters of all these nations. You understand? And basically what we're going to be doing is civilizing them. Showing them how to properly worship the one and only true God. You dig? That's part of your role as an Israelite. You are a spokesperson. You are a priest. You the most highest point man. You want to know what the creator of heaven and earth require on this earth? You got to go holler who he chose. You see? And none of this will be allowed in his kingdom. And that's why now we got to we'll, we'll do what's called rehearse the righteous acts. Absolutely. Do it now. Right? People get mad at you. They come off a little too bold. I don't like all that. You be all right. You be all right. Or don't be around. You dig? But we ain't got no choice but to stand up for what's real. Especially in this hour, y'all. Especially in this hour. You got something to say?
Many people left their children in the fire. Cold game, ain't it? Well, hot game, I should say. But still, <laughs> but still, this whole thing is burning. Now, you can either think that somebody with a, with a lighter starting them fires, or these fires are sent out by the Most High. So you can be like, you know what? This is happening. How about I get myself together? You feel me? And focus. Next scripture we're going to go to y'all is Leviticus, the 20th chapter. Leviticus 20, 1 through 5. Stop sacrificing your children. Right? And if y'all ain't figured out by now, these entertainers are not your leaders. These entertainers are not who the most I chose to lead his people. Go, go ahead. Well, you know, let's take a Bill Cosby. His son, Ennis, am I saying his name right? Eunice or something like that, yeah. Ennis, okay. He was sacrificed first, okay, that we know of. And because Bill, you know, wanted to do what he wanted to do, whatever that was. Oh, Bill Cosby, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And show was talking bad about us. So don't leave that out. Yeah, talking bad about his people. Well, his own people. You dig? And boy was having his way with heathen women in Hollywood. Yeah. Mm. Mr. Jello putting himself. Oh, P.O. Cosby. Leviticus 20. We are not to be sacrificing our children. Gotta hey, gotta stand up and set order. Got to. Got to especially the men. He stand up and said, order, drop the hammer. Hey, my sisters, it may sound a little harsh at times. Hey, it gotta go, it gotta go down. Right? This world is evil. The world is evil. You understand? And again, we supposed to police the situation. It's just what it is. Right? You should have you should have no respect for a man that ain't gonna say nothing. Just let you just roll off the cliff. There you it don't matter. Bye. Damn shit. Hey, whatever. You dig? May come off a little harsh. Scriptures say, hey, I may be rude in speech, but not in knowledge, though. You know, some things ain't meant to be all to spread on like, like parquet and then the butter. You feel me? With enticing words and excellency of speech, but in power and demonstration of the Spirit. That's what it's supposed to be. You understand? It's got to get got to get out of there. The holiness is being like a, a nun or a Catholic priest. You dig? These men were, were were very bold and precise when they spoke. When they came to lock the Messiah up, he spoke, and the whole the whole uh, Calvary hit their backs. They fell. You see, that's John eighteen chapter. Right around verse 6, when they came to lock him up, he simply said, who y'all looking for? They said, y'all sure. Now he said, I am he. Why are the police officers fall? Bow! It's how powerful. Indeed, we used to be able to speak. You understand? Our enemies are shiver, quiver before us. You know what I'm saying? So we got we to gotta get out of our minds that speaking boldly and speaking with authority. Stop being so offended at that. You should be looking for that in this hour. You dig? Not a Don Lemon. Your boy on CNN. Y'all expect him to protect y'all? A Don Lemon. Then they just showed him with his gay boyfriend. With his boy toy. Holding hands. Huh? Real talk. It's just time. With, it's just time. Most I said he was going to raise up. You understand? And put his spirit back on these dry bones. You feel me? And you see how hard Satan going. You thought the most high was about to raise up some weaklings? A whole bunch of whispering men? No. No. All right, Leviticus 20. Leviticus 20 is where we at. All praise to the most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leviticus 20. And the most high spake unto Moses, saying, Again, thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, 
that giveth any of his seed unto Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. Trip off that. Sounds harsh today because you've been raised in Babylon. Sounds very, very, what they call it, primitive. Hmm? Now how we go from, obviously, obviously this is a serious crime against the Most High. How do we go from this is his judgment? You did. All his judgments are righteous, the Bible tells you. How we go from this, you feel me, even if we ain't stoning nobody anymore, just knowing that the most high, this judgment still on the books, though. There is the judgment they coming. Just knowing how, that the most high looks at this like this. How do we go from knowing he knows this is an abomination so much that we were commanded to put down whoever was doing it to where we like, oh, it's okay. Just let them live. Let them, let the babies be babies. So you just don't want them to have no fun. You did Halloween. You did Christmas. You did. I used to boo-boo on myself too. I don't do that no more. We can make a whole, or we can talk all day about what we used to do. Thank the most high for his mercy. Are we right now supposed to be sacrificing our children? And it's not just uh, the, the so-called one ritual with a mole. You are sacrificing your children every day without you knowing it. It is disgusting. Your children belong to the Most High. You understand? And you've been put there as guardians over them. And it's your responsibility to present them back to the Most High blameless, wrinkle-free. You understand? Innocent. That's the truth. He say, look, anybody called doing that is worthy of death. Going to get put to death. You see that? Also, again, we got to check our spirit today when we look, we don't look at it as serious. You did? Even if you ain't going out there putting nobody to death, you still should be, look, you still should hate any way that's against the most high. Right? To the point to where you're willing to tell your loved ones, man, look, that's worthy of death. No, we're not doing that. Right? No, we ain't for them. No, no, we won't be over there to help you celebrate that. No, I'm not coming over to help you hang Christmas lights. No, I'm not coming. You understand? Because that behavior is worthy of death according to the Most High. Why? Because it's attached to another God. That's the easiest way to put it. All right, go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, yeah. Man, look, that told you right there that the judgment under Christ is far more is, is far more sore and harsher. It's more harsh than what, you, what we just read in Moses. You think that stoning was something harsh? Wait till you get a load of the Messiah's judgment on Judgment Day, because you did not want to stand up and and call things for what it was. We read this in Moses. This is the most I give in Moses. And understanding on how to properly administer and adjudicate things, you feel me, in the most high's land and amongst his people. That just said, wait till you get a load of the Messiah on judgment day. And we just read, put them to death under Moses. What you think is about to be under Christ? You see, we got to stop thinking of the Messiah as the tooth fairy. It's this little chump sucker God that you can just pull out and worship at your own leisure. You feel me? And that he conforms to your feelings. He don't. He don't conform to mine either. Absolutely. Go ahead, Imam. I just want to uh, testify regarding yesterday I was witnessing to a person and um, <clears throat> he was telling me that God is just going to take care of everything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, 
this is serious business. I cannot hold back on what I have to say. I said, because your love is on my hand. But once I release what it is to be said to you, then your blood is no longer on my hand. That's right. Because I have done the work. Yeah. I say, and you might think I'm yelling. That's why I told you. You might think I'm yelling at you, but I'm not. This is how serious. This is the voice of the most high talking to you. I said, you have a window of opportunity. I said, you must adhere in that window. I said, now, I don't know what your window is. I said, but this, I haven't talked to you in three years. I said, this is full circle. I said, so your window of opportunity has come again. I said, you must obey. Real talk. And look, y'all, being someone that the Most High sends out to speak and to tell people, that's not a uh, that's not a position of, of of high popularity where everybody's going to like you. It is sometimes you more times than than a few you got to tell people things that they do not want to hear. You feel me? And you're gonna be you're gonna be looked at under eyed, bow legged in the shoulders. People won't be threatening you. You understand? Who you think you is and all type of extra stuff. Here come Moses. You think you holy, all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? It is not, I'm te- like, look, even with the, uh, the, the the prophet Samuel, that wasn't easy for him to go around. Ain't nobody even like him. When he came, people used to be like, man, here he come again. Dang, but they knew when he showed up, hey, you better have your affairs in order. You know what I'm saying? The same Samuel chopped Agag into pieces because Saul refused to. Like, these men were serious men. Even the priest of the Most High. Like, how you a priest today and scared to get your hands bloody? These men were cutting animals' throats and pulling out livers and kidneys. And... You see what I'm saying? Like today, you look at thing, you look at this Bible through a European lens, so it's hard for you to grasp what's really being conveyed here. This book originates back east, not in St. Louis. This book originates back east, not in your, not in the halls of Yale and and Duke University. You feel me? This is an ancient vibration that you're dealing with. You understand? We are an ancient people. We just operating backwards to the point to where we hear certain things. You'd be like, oh, no, see, I don't know. And you and you always want to look for a way not to come up under subjection to what it's saying. That's that's our problem as a people. That is pride. Let it go. Even if you don't understand what the Most High is saying, ask him to help you understand. You understand? Ask him to show, show me. I don't even understand that, but show me. You understand? Other than that, you're in love with yourself. You just like the parts of the Bible that make you feel a certain way. That's all you do. Right? Everything that's just smooth, you know, inside voice, you know. Left up to you, the whole Bible will be the Songs of Solomon. A romance novel. You dig? It wouldn't be no checking, no rebuking. Right? No, I don't feel good. But hey, it's what it is. It must go down. It has to happen. So... So you can really realize your or see your full spiritual potential. We are so much greater than what we put out. It's so much greater. Our forefathers was, I'm, I'm talking about when, when they was in their righteousness, man, they could holler at the most high and make fire fall out of heaven. That's what I'm trying to get back to. Our sisters were so in spirit, they could she use her beauty as a weapon against the enemy. Cut his head off and put it in a basket. And walked it back to the gates of Jerusalem. You talking about men and women who were who were locked in with the Most High. You see, today you locked into your phone, or locked into the opinions of others. You understand? Israel, we would kill our own prophets. These men were sent to you to tell you, "Hey, get it right," and you would kill them. But you say today, what? Don't shoot the messenger. No, the messenger gets shot in the Bible. And more, majority of the men the most I sent were, were murdered by their own people. So no, don't shoot the messenger. Hate the message, not the messenger. That's, that's actually backwards. 
you come with this message right here, you're going to be hated for the most part because it convicts people in, in them being comfortable in what they already believe or what they already doing. You feel me? It abrades them. They offended. Here he come. Yeah. That's what it is. All right. We in uh, Leviticus 20. So now we know if you sacrifice your children, that's worthy of death. Nobody in here should be looking at uh, uh, the rituals of so-called hella days, not as if they're innocent. It's not. All right. Verse three. Now trip off this. And I will set my face and I will set my face against that man. You do not want the most out of God to smoke with you. You do not want him to set his face against you. And I will set my face against that man and will cut him off from among his people. Because he hath given of his seed unto Molech to defile my sanctuary and to profane my holy name. Do y'all understand that? We are his temple, his sanctuary. When you sacrifice your children to other gods, you have defiled his sanctuary and you have profaned his name. He said, I'm going to cut you off. Do y'all know it's men, it's men in the Bible who whole bloodline was cut off because they refused to do what the Most High told them to do. Whole bloodline was cut off. Like certain kings during the northern kingdom. Whole bloodline was hit. And the, and, and the word the Most High used, he said, there's not going to be another man in your family that pisseth against the wall. You understand what that means? Like men today, when we go into like bathrooms, we still piss or pee or urinate against the wall. We stand up and we, you know what I'm saying? Like that's in the Bible. He said it plenty of times. Just look the phrase up, pisseth against the wall. And it's going to blow your mind. Most high was cutting. In other words, he's saying, I'm going to kill every male in your line because of the evil you perpetrate. Hey, that's the God that we serve. So you got to stop playing him like he the funnies. He's not. Also, if you're around anybody that, that, that makes comedy about sin, and it's real funny. You know what I'm saying? It ain't serious. It's funny. You dig? To where it don't have you in, in, in a position to where you start hating sin or looking at sin like it's disgusting. You kind of compromise and say, we know we all sinners. So... And then you start quoting these little fancy, these little fancy jokes somebody quote, you understand, about sinful behavior we all familiar with. And what you supposed to have been, let that go anyway. But you'll crack a joke about sinful behavior. That's what comedians do. They'll crack a joke about sinful behavior. Everybody laughs like, boy, you sure ain't lying. That's true. You know what I'm saying? But that vibration don't make you say, man, that's evil. That vibration say, you know what, next time I'm involved in that, I'm going to show, I respond just like this. You got to be careful. Iniquity is not funny. Sin is not comedy. Right? I tell you in the book of Tobit, those that sin are enemies to their own soul. It's not funny. It's not a joke. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's something that's going to get you destroyed. So you got to watch that too. Because some people teach this Bible as if it's comedy. You dig? And then before you know, everybody's laughing. And then and then everybody, because everybody laughs and he makes you feel comfortable in your sin, you start saying stuff like, man, that's a wise brother. See, you've been seduced that quick into believing that sin is funny. You feel me? And in that, the wisdom that you think you got out of that is this man is wise. This man has made you think sin and iniquity it's hilarious. Not funny. Not funny. Because it, it does nothing to make you say, oh, no, that's evil. You dig? When I see, yeah, man, look, when I be, if, if I do, when I do glance at TV, say it's a series I'm watching. Man, as soon as some gay stuff, come on, I can't even watch the series no more. I can't even watch it. You ruined the whole series. It was a good series up until then. And then Hank kissed Leroy. You see what I'm saying? And then it's all just, it's horrible. I can't even watch it no more. And then a heathen with the Israelites. Yeah. Yeah. Evil. We got to watch that. Again, the Most High is holding us accountable. Especially us men. 
You understand? When you're done talking, we the guardians of the women and the children. You dig? Your sisters are accountable too. You dig? But it's more of an onus is on us. It is. Yeah, yeah, it got it got to go down. There's no other way around it. You know what I'm saying? We got to provide environments and communities that's conducive to the Bible for our women and children. You feel me? It's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to do that, then you don't need to be around us. Because that's what we going to do. You know what I'm saying? It's on us to do it. You dig? And yes, the woman is accountable too. That don't mean like, oh, okay, I got a free ride just to... Just to just act out when I want to act out. No, 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 no. You were held accountable too. Yeah. Most I didn't kill the women and children in the body. He killed Dathan and his whole family and anybody that was around. Him. Yeah, everybody. The earth opened up and swallowed them. Yeah. And ain't that happening every day? Yeah, earth is. Yeah. Earth is, yeah. is opening up more and more now, ain't it? Yeah. All right, Leviticus 20. Verse 4, now watch this. And if the people of the land do in, do any ways hide their eyes from the man, mm, when he giveth of his seed unto Molech and kill him not. See that? Oh, he even putting it on us. Say you know about this sacrifice and it's going down. But you say, you get the spirit they got today. Well, they ain't bothering me. It ain't my business. They ain't bothering me. Wrong spirit to be in. See that? Watch this, verse 5. And then I will set my face against that man and against his family mm. and will cut him off and all that go a whoring after him to commit whoredom with Molech from among their people. See that? See, again, the man and you see the family got to pay for it too. That's why I'm not into making excuses for men. I'm not into all that. You feel me? And I don't want to cry and sad and dang, you know what, brother? I just can't get a job and I ain't man, man up. I'm not trying. I'm, reason, look, the reason I'm not going to hurt it because the world don't care. Don't nobody care, Negro. It's your fault anyway. Whether, it, whether this thing prosper or not, you're going to get blamed. It is. Ain't nobody throwing no pity party for the Hebrew man. Nobody care because things going bad for us. So why should I? You feel me? I'll be there to exhort you, build you up, but bro, man up. Crying and worrying about something ain't never got nothing done. Man up. And let's just get it done. What if we put our heads together and figure out what we gotta do? And let's move on and get it done. That's simple. You understand? Because look, because the man do it, but knows the most I say, I'm gonna hit him and his family. And everybody else that decided to follow. Yeah, serious thing. Sounds like our God is a God of accountability. Hmm? You feel me? So that means the man, women, and children are accountable. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, if, if, if you don't mind, I want to say this. A lot of children now are not too obeying the mother and the father. And we all know that that is a, a no-no. And nobody is talking about this with a lot of these children that are, you know, getting murdered or killed or whatever we're dealing with. A lot of them tell their parents stuff, oh, I hate you, uh, uh, this, that, the other, uh, I ain't doing nothing or whatever, you know, whatever. And what you just say? You just said the men, women, and children yeah. are held accountable. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> hey, that's real rap. True. You did. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Cause my son, mm. you don't mind. My son was uh, unincorrigible. My youngest one is very unincorrigible for whatever reason, and uh, they sent him to a boys' home. And one time I came to visit him, he said, "Mom, we talking about Jesus. Nobody ain't never seen nobody like Jesus. He can get they slap their mama." Beat that mom and daddy up and shoot at them and all kinds of stuff. He said, Mama, I ain't never thought about slapping you or hitting you or beating you up or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I said, what is that? No. Man, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. 
Man, the most I have mercy on the memory of my father. My father ain't play all that. We'd have been dead. Now, he told us one time, we was in the store, <laughs> me and my little brother, right? We're in the store. And it's this little heathen running around the store, y'all, knocking over everything. And I hate you, mom. And she over there like, Bart, Bart, calm down, Bart. It's okay, Bart. Everything is going to be fine, Bart. Come on, breathe, Bart. He know, mommy. Uh, man, my old dude looked that heathen in the face, told this heathen mama, you need to whoop his I'm talking about from the whole store. Everybody was like, dang. You did. But that checked the little heathen. He was like, dang, whoa, I ain't. Man, me, mind you, me and my brother had nothing to do with this. We in the store with, with, with Big Dog. We in there with him getting stuff and we on our way about it. He used to drive one of them old school 9-8s with the, <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the alarm on the side with the key or whatever. Man, we get in, that, we get in the car, man. He bumping his temptations. He turn, he turns the music down. Turn around, look at me and my brother and tell me if y'all ever even think about doing that, I'll bury you little N-I-G-G. Hey, I'll bury you. We was like, dang, we ain't, we ain't. It did. But it, it, it was that. And look, looking back, I know he would never went that far, but I know he wasn't playing no games. He ain't playing no games. I know that much. He did. And I know even if he wouldn't have took me up off this earth because he said it, I brought you in I'll take you out. I used to hear that all the time growing up. I gave you life and I'll take it from you. He did. But see, as a young man that do something to you, that puts you in check, to where you're like, nah, I ain't about to get him mad. No need to get him mad. He did. Because it's going to be a problem. And that's what's missing in these homes, man. You dig? The, the young men and the, and the uh, daughters need to know, man, my old dude don't play. He's serious with this. Dig? So all that cussing your mama out and, you know, you know, mom, I hate you, man. We wouldn't have been able to get that off. <laughs> that, look, look, we wouldn't even be able to get that off. That would have broke leg off. You know, so you'd have got handled real quick. You know what I'm saying? And then as I got older and I start seeing a lot of my uh friends get, you know what I'm saying, go to the grave early or get locked up. I got a, 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 a partner, well, a friend of mine that ended up doing end up doing 55 years at the age of 16. Murdered somebody else we knew growing up. He was 14. We was 14, he was 16. He murdered back in like 96 or something like that. He murdered he murdered the brother. Well, we all was cool, right? But they end up giving him 55 years at the age of 16. He went from juvie to the state penitentiary. Do not pass go. Yeah, you put 55 on 16, see what you get. Yeah. Yeah. He won't be out until he's 70. 70 something. You dig? Uh, and institutionalized and everything. But I remember his, you know, his his family used to kind of let him get away with stuff and you dig? Man, my old dude, I ain't play that. My old dude, my, my grandmama, then we used to have to go pick out, pick the switches. What is you talking about? You better come back with a good side. Yeah, like what is you talking about? That's what's missed around here. Absolutely. You understand? And that's what the most High is calling back. You got the scripture tell you don't spur that rod. That's right. Don't spur that rod. If you, if you really love them, you wouldn't be spurring them. Absolutely. All right? This right here is Leviticus 20. Leviticus 20. Okay, I didn't buy a little food over there. Yeah, she said. Oh, okay, okay. But may the most high bless them. Now help y'all sell some food, y'all. You know what I'm saying? The gate the sisters and drop some food off. Leviticus 20 and uh 7. He says, Sanctify yourselves therefore and be ye holy. You see that? Y'all, we have a commandment to be holy. Holy means set apart, separate. You see, from the other nations. For I am Yahweh, your Elohim, and you shall keep my statues and do them. I am the most I will sanctify you. For everyone, trip off this, trip off this, Shekai, listen to this. For everyone that curseth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. He have cursed his father or his mother, his blood shall be upon him. 
See, so we're seeing the accountability that the God of Israel is holding all of us under. Man, woman, and children. Everybody understand that so far? We all are held to a standard. You understand? Submit yourselves to what's in this book right here. Right? That's the best way for you not to be on the most highest enemy hit list. Just submit. Take yourselves out of it. All right? Next scripture I want to go to is... uh. It's uh, Psalm 119. Psalm 119, verse 104. Psalm 119, verse 104. Psalm, the 119th chapter, and the 104th verse. These things wouldn't be in the Bible if we couldn't do it. He said, be ye holy. Ask yourself, are you holy? Y'all, that's a commandment. It's a commandment to be holy. Holy mean, y'all, holy don't mean you whisper everywhere you're going. You know what I'm saying? Look at the a picture, a statue of Mother Teresa. Holy means that you are dedicated, you understand, to the service of your God. You are separate from the world. And that's what it means. Men and women are required and commanded to be holy unto the Most High God. That is a commandment. That's not advice. Well, then ask yourself why you out in the world. Is my behavior, is my speech, you understand? Is my is my is it, is my my actions? Is it indicative of being holy? Set apart. Is it really set apart? It did, or am I choosing to side with Babylon's mindset? Babylon speech. Think about it. You feel me? That war that you have in your mind 24-7. We all got it. You understand? And the best way to defeat it is to be like, oh, no, that ain't the mind of the Messiah. Get behind me. You feel me? All type of thoughts can invade your mind. Thoughts of whatever. Lust and whatever. You dig? Right? And look, the war don't stop. Even if it's a Sabbath day, thoughts will attempt to invade your mind. But it's up to you to either entertain them or rebuke them. The best way to rebuke them in just in words is say, y'all, oh, get behind me. That ain't the mind of Christ. That ain't the mind. Oh, those are not thoughts that Christ will entertain. You feel me? Because if the thoughts are left unchecked, they become words. And then they become actions. You dig? Yeah. Thoughts left unchecked become words, and then they become actions. Now you got a reality. Your reality, your reality is a byproduct of what you think, or what you entertain, should I say? Right? It's either righteous thoughts or negative thoughts. Words in reality. Yeah, in action. You think it, you speak it, and then you act on it. You act on it, and once you act on it, it's a reality. Right? Those are, those are the tools of manifestation. It's right in the Bible. Isaiah 43 and 7. Call it, create it, form it, make it. 43 and 7. Those are, that's the four-step process of all creation. Call it, create it, form it, make it. No matter, what, when, no, no matter what's created in the physical realm, go through that process right there. No matter what it was. Call it, create, call it, create it, form it, make it. Okay, so I want to use that, what you just said, yeah. in action. Okay, so if I want to create something beautiful, make something, I got to have a thought. Right? Yeah, that's the calling. That's, that's the calling? Yeah, that's the thought, okay, the calling. So I'm, I'm reading, I'm writing. That's the calling. Yep. And then? Now, now you got to create it. You write it down. You write down your plan. Yeah. Which is write it down. Uh -huh. All right. Next step. Form it. Form. Yep. Yeah. You start knocking off the list everything you done wrote down. Uh -huh. Until it's finally made. Reality. Uh -huh. That's how you take what's invisible and make it visible. Okay. Your thoughts are invisible. Yeah. How do your thoughts become visible? It has to go through a fourth stage process. 
whatever you think about, you need to, whatever you think about that you want to act on, you got to write it down. Right? It just went from being invisible, something you can't see, to visible on paper. Hallelujah. Then you start scratching off that list. Step one, step two, step three. That's the, that's the forming. You're forming what was invisible. Wow. And once you're done with your list, now you got a finished product. Okay, forming the invisible. Oh, am I saying that right? It's just, you, you're just attacking everything you wrote down. Step one, step two, step three, uh -huh. step four. And until all the steps are finished, and guess what you got? You got your reality. You got finished product. It, it's made. And they all correspond to the four letters of the Most High's name. Yod, hey, wav, hey. Call it, create it, form it, make it. Right? That refrigerator was a thought before it became visible. This computer was a thought before it became visible. That's right. The cell phone was a thought before it became visible. He thought about it, and he had to start writing it down and designing it. You understand? Start putting it together until you got a finished product. Well, I want to say something. Charlie, I'm just so grateful to you in the midst of everything that's going on. Because you are so always greater than us, so to speak, quote unquote. Um, some other somebody else would may not use that terminology, but that's the best thing to come up my mind. I just want to honor you because of that, because of your obedience, because of your faithfulness to the most high. Hallelujah. You know? I praise so and it's it's important that we do that and encourage our leaders, whoever they may be, because that little bit of encouragement may take you to the next level where you need to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No doubt. No doubt. Yep. That's how, hey, that's right, baby. But look, that's how you, that Isaiah 43 and 7 is the fourfold process to all creation. Mm -hmm. How do you take something invisible and make it visible? Hallelujah. All your thoughts are invisible. You can't see a thought until it's written down. That's right. Words are, words are just visible thoughts. Yeah. And you know, That's right. Do better. That's right. That's right. Because when we know better, we do. You got to be great in this thing. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? We need to all be aiming to be great. You're not aiming to just be mediocre. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? It's the, it's, it's the truth. The scriptures is, is live action. The whole thing is to get it off the page and into your bank. Absolutely. Now, these are words that are inspired, right? These are words from the most high that the prophet got. And that he wrote down. So basically, we're looking at the thoughts of the Most High. That's what you're looking at. That must become a reality. He spoke it and it was, right? Well, you speak, you think. So these are thoughts. And you speak it. And you form it. And then it's what you know is reality. That's everything. No matter what you look at, it was a thought first. It was invisible, and you, all you did was just go through the proper channels to pull it into the visible. It already exists. You feel me? It just got to be. It's got to be brought down through its proper, proper channels. That's all. All right. Psalm one nineteen. Watch this. Psalm one nineteen, verse one hundred four. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm one nineteen, verse one hundred four. He says, "Through thy precepts I get understanding; therefore." I hate every false way. Y'all hear that? Man, that is a mouthful of land. David just said, through your precepts, Most High, I get understanding. So if it ain't about the Most High's precepts or his words or what we just learned, his thoughts, his mind, David just said, well, if it ain't about the Most High, I hate it then. I hate every false way. Y'all, we got to arrive at the same. We, we have to get her. We have to get to where our mind is, is the same and linked with the most high. I hate what he ate. I love what he love. Right? Sacrificing our children. Compromising to keep these little holidays and 
you know what I'm saying, or compromising, period, to do something that the Most High is against. You understand? That is a false way. You're not supposed to pacify it. You're not supposed to be in love with it. David said, I hate every false way. So then ask yourself, is that me? Do I really hate every false way? Or do I be trying to find out reasons to justify it? Think about it. We all know when we're doing it wrong. You know it. You be planning it. It don't just pop up out of nowhere you're doing wrong. It, be, it already be there. But can you really tell yourself, I hate every false way? You see? And if not, that just means we got work to do. You dig? We supposed to hate every false way. Not be trying to figure out reasons why and what if, but what about this and what about that, man? If it's against the most high, I'm against it. If the most high is for it, I'm for it. That's how we got to be. You understand? That's the only way you're going to be able to crush this Babylonian mindset. We may think that, you know, we I mean, for the most part, I'm a pretty good person, you know. For the most part, you may think that. You may think that. You understand? But I don't got a kingdom or a lake of fire to put you in. You understand? The most high's judgment is sure. The most high's judgment is righteous. You understand? You may think you're a pretty good person. You may think, you know, hey, for the most part, I'm cool. You did. But if your life was to line up, if the measuring stick is the scripture, you did. You have to ask yourself, but do my life measure up to the scriptures? And just be real with yourself. I had to be real with myself a couple of days ago. Just be real. Looking back on my life, like, what have I even built or produced? 37 years old. Ain't made nothing. Done bought a whole bunch of stuff. But ain't built nothing. Ain't did nothing. Let's be real with yourself. Does my life really measure up to the standard that the most high has for me? Can I honestly say this? Yes. And if not, you just got work to do. You know what I'm saying? Some people can't. Paul said it, man, look, I'm fully persuaded. Ain't nothing going to turn me away. You understand? But be real with yourself because you're only fooling yourself. Right? And ask yourself, do I, really, do I really hate every false way? Right? In my mind, is, is that really disgusting to me? Right? I give you an example. In this society, lesbianism is not looked at as bad as a man or a man. You feel me? In this society, it's not looking at They both are an abomination. They both are supposed to be disgusting and deplorable. You understand? But you got Hebrew men who actually out here justify a woman with a woman. Trip off that. And say, oh, well, you know, only if I'm in the room, you know. It's, it's okay. Man, that's evil. What is you saying? You see? That's somebody that don't hate every false way. You see? Why? Because there's still a lust demon there. You feel me? That temporarily satisfies his flesh. So instead of saying, oh, no, that's evil, woman, and you're going to burn in a special part of hell unless you get that together. You dig? How long you think these women <laughs> going to accept being like that? As long as you pacifying it, they're going to think it's cool. You dig? You got to be real. Okay, you hate the man on the man is disgusting, but you really ain't against the woman on woman. You see what I'm saying? Brother, you don't hate every false way. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. They're making a lot of excuses. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Let, give, hey, rebuke them and let it know. Hey, you better get yourself together. Judgment is coming. Oh no, this ain't uh, this ain't what you think it is. No, no, no. There ain't no more coming over and spending the night. No, it ain't no more. Uh, 
You know what I'm saying? We just I'm on the phone giving you advice and none of that. That is a lifestyle that's going to get you killed. And the best way for me to get you to understand this is I can't rock with you until you repent of that. You feel me? People have come back from that. Not that often. But people have come back from that. I know a sister that used to be on that. She got like three children, I know. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting married and three children, you know what I'm saying? And she was out there heavy in all that. You did? But bumped into the bruise. Bumped into us about 12 years ago. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I guess she thought somebody amongst us was about to be, because they was beautiful women. You know, and they was kind of like, you know, even though they was like that, they was feminine. They really wasn't butch, butchy. You did? And I guess they thought brothers was about to hold some tongues. Oh, we. Oh, we. You feel me? I kind of enjoyed hurting her feelings. I ain't going to lie to you. But it broke that spirit on me. It did. It did. You feel me? She hated me, boy, for a good six months. You dig? Let it be known. You dig? You don't get that together. Your uterus going to fall out. I ain't even going to play with you. The most I don't like that. Well, bro, look, I don't get the It's what the word says. What you talking about? You came in and asked me. You accepted who we are and all that. But, brother, I got something I'm dealing with. What you doing with? Well, uh, can I come over and talk to you? Where you at? I'll pull up. Pull right on up. You dig? And sure enough, that's what it was about. Yeah, some sharp, some sharp hammer dropping. Heavy hammer dropping. And short, some sharp sword swinging went on. I'm playing no games. Right for the jugular. You dig? And uh, about six months, maybe a year later, she popped up at Bible class. You know what I'm saying? Ran up on me and bear hugged me. Said, brother, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You feel me? I wanted to come up here and hug you and tell you thank you for talking to me like that. Because it got me together. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and at the time, uh, she was, I think she was like engaged or something like that. She got married, I think, probably like three months later. I've seen her like months after that. She was about good, you know, five months pregnant. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about, sheep, bro, you dig? I'm like three children now doing a thing. You know, she still watch the videos and all that. She don't she don't really come around, but she 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 holding on. And she worshiping the most high and she being a a, a woman that the most high called her to be. She wore dresses and all that now and everything. Like, like, like for real. You dig? But that's because we didn't play with her. I ain't finna play with you. Not at all. Yeah. You wanna go ahead, D. Okay. Now you're saying that, okay, if you have, like you have family members that bless you and they bless you and you talk to them, they talk to them, they talk to them, they talk to them, they talk to them, Yeah, no, you're not even allowed in. You get rebuked. Okay. Every time I see them, they get checked. Mm -hmm. You know you ain't supposed to be doing that. You gonna bust hell wide open if you keep if you continue in that. Okay, what about you have family members still doing the pagan stuff? Same thing. So they get they get checked. Yeah, they they don't get like they get checked like well, my mom's a pop up see your grandbabies and all that. You know what I'm saying? Keep everything, uh, uh, you know. We keep everything cordial, but sexual perversion is something. It's a spirit that's darker and stronger than somebody that's that's celebrating Christmas and all that. You know what I'm saying? That that right there is something people barely even recover from. And I'm saying the best way to deal with that is to chop it at its throat. Uh, when we have when I have conversations with my loved ones that still in the Christianity and all that, I don't play with them either. Y'all know what the books say, and they be here oh, okay. All right, cuz, I hear what you're saying, man. Let me go ahead and keep it moving or something. And I do that. And I do that. Okay? Yeah. But I, I, I'm trying to get something. So, if my family members come over just sitting to me, I don't fucking let them in my house, period. If you, it depends. If you're talking about sexual perversion, no, so, sodomy and all that, as your brother, and no. Nah, don't even let them in your house. Yeah, now, now if your people want to come over knowing what you believe in, you dig? Well, they must be coming over to hear a word. They come over to hear a word? They come over here. All right, you want to sit here and hear the word? That's what you do. That's, that's all good, you know what I'm saying? Okay. 
Your whole job is to be trying to gain your people no matter what. Absolutely. That's your job. You did. Okay, when we come on over and watch the, the soap operas and all that, we like we gotta get we gotta get past all that. Like we just hanging out just to be hanging. Look, souls on the line here. You feel me? My job is to let you stir you in the right direction. Now either they gonna want to keep coming around because they want to keep hearing the word that you're saying, even if they don't convert right then and there. If they steady coming back around because of the word you dropping, then keep dropping the word. Keep allowing them to come back around. But if the word you dropping offends them, you're going to see they'll remove themselves. And they ain't going to want to come around. Because every time they, they come around, you're speaking about the word of the Most High. And it convicts their spirit. It convicts them. You feel me? I'm just telling you as your, as your brother. Like all my family, either in the streets or in the church. And every last one of them going to hear the word from me when they see me. Now... If I find yourself, if I find you ringing my phone and emailing me, oh, you must want to come around me. Come on with it. Come on with it. And guess what type of conversation going to be going on? A holy conversation. That's the whole point. You feel me? Your job, you look at it like I'm here to save your soul. That's what I'm here to do. You know I love you. You know you my sister, my cousin. I love your flesh. That goes beyond even saying I shouldn't even have to prove that. You know I do. You understand? But I love you enough to tell you the truth because I don't want you to bust hell wide open. It's time for you to sit down and listen. You feel me? That's what we got to get to. Look at it as if you're look at it as if you're a guardian for their soul. And they're sick and you got the medicine they need. Right? And they either rebellious, like, I don't want the medicine. Or they're like, no, nah, I do want the medicine. Let me come on over. And even though after they get the medicine, they may start taking in food that's not good for them again. You know what I'm saying? But at least they still coming back constantly to get this medicine. Until what? Finally, they it click in their mind. You know what? Let me go ahead and change my life all the way over. If they want to hear the word, never forsake them. Never forsake them. It's all good. I mean, it, 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 look, you know why? There are spirits that are out here that's jumping on and off, folk. Some of our people, some of our people, uh, so, some of our people have so many demons on them. All they good for is dumping spirits on you. And then they'll leave your house and you all sad and depressed and they all happy. All right, girl, call me later. Some of our people are only good for dumping spirits. You know what I'm saying? And you sisters got to watch that because y'all ain't as strong as the men in certain areas. So you got to watch who you allow to tell you their business. You know what I'm saying? Some of these people, you believe it or not, the claim they ain't the truth and all that, y'all, they are demons. And all they doing is dumping their emotions on you so they can feel better. You dig? And then you feel all sad and depressed and you wonder, man, where did this spirit come from in my house? Where did this come from? You feel me? You got to watch that. Again, if it ain't about the kingdom, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? We ain't we talking about some vanity. We talking about the latest season episode on power? You know what I'm saying? All right, now what? How, how gratifying is that? You feel me? If you enter that type of stuff, it's only temporary. It only lasts for a second or two. You dig? And then you look up, girl, let me tell you. Let me tell you about so-and-so. And there you go as a, as a deposit box or a platform for emotion. And you just taking it all on. You dig? And they leave feeling much better, and now you sad and depressed. You got to watch that. So, again... The scripture tells us to be holy in all manner of conversation. That's what we're supposed to be. So what come off our mouth supposed to be about the kingdom. And if we're speaking about the kingdom, that means we're thinking about the kingdom. All right, so we think it, we speak it, and we do or rehearse the kingdom until the kingdom is a reality. You see what I'm saying? If we actually want the kingdom to manifest, y'all, we got to start thinking kingdom, speaking kingdom, and doing kingdom. Until kingdom becomes our reality. 
right. The vain talk is it you got to get rid of all that. It's vanity. It means nothing anyway. You feel me? And it brings on more and more evil suspicion. Let's do Psalm 119, verse 113. Watch this. We got to learn to hate every false way. All right? Dude, we got to realize this too, y'all. Slander and treason, or slander and gossiping is treason in the eyes of the Most High. Treason. Who all know what treason means? Say you committed treason against the United States government. Put a definition for y'all just in case everybody don't understand. And you'll see a lot of the conversations we entertain, a lot of the things that we talk about, you feel me, or allow people to dump into us. It's actually something that would not be allowed in the Most High's kingdom, right? Had you known that gossiping, slander, uh, uh, all those things the Most High said he hate. Had you known that was treason, as I, this is treason right here. Watch this. Y'all can understand. Treason. The crime of betraying one's country, especially by attempting to kill the sovereign or overthrow the government. The action of betraying someone or something. The action of betraying someone or something. What you think you're doing when you slander? When you gossip, and what you think that is? So now the most I say, those that slander his, those that are slandering his neighbor, the most I say he going to cut them off. They won't even be allowed to dwell in this city. You feel me? The, 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 the mouth, the mindset, the gossip and the slander, the tail bear, everything that we've grown accustomed to, y'all, is actually treason against the kingdom of heaven. It is. It is. And a lot and a lot of us, you know what we're supposed to do? A lot of us are supposed to be saying, when people bring that type of stuff to us, Shabbat Shalom, Ma. Hey, you know what a lot of us supposed what we supposed to be saying when people bring that stuff to us? That's treason against the throne of heaven. Now, I don't even want to speak about that. You feel me? Dang, my bad. Yeah, your bad. You feel me? And make them swallow that. Make them swallow that. That's treason against the throne of the Most High. That's treason against the throne of heaven. You dig? Slandering, gossiping, tailbearing. These are the things the Most High said he ate. We just read treason is the action of betraying someone or something. The crime of betraying one's country. Had we known this was an actual treason that we are engaged in. You feel me? While we while, while we sitting here talking bad about the next brother and sister. Next time somebody try to bring you something, tell them that's treason against the throne of the Most High. I don't want to hear none of that. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to swallow what it was they tried to bring you. That's how you cut that off real quick. Because if you're entertaining it, you're just as guilty. Your name going to get brought up anyway, even if you didn't say nothing. Your name going to get brought up. Oh, so and so said it. I ain't said nothing. No, you ain't said nothing, but you sat there and listened to it. You see? We got to get past that. All right? And I'll pull the scripture to show what I'm talking about. Psalm 119, verse 1, I think it's 13, I want. Psalm 119, verse 113. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. You hear what David's saying? Now, David, David's name means beloved. David or Daoud, or Daweed means beloved. David had a heart or a mind like the Most High. They say that in the scripture. Meaning David hated what the Most High hated and loved what he loved. And the few times that he went off, David immediately repented. He didn't allow pride to block him. You understand, from getting back in good favor with the Almighty. He repented and he took his punishment like a man. Took his punishment like a man. Didn't make any excuses. You understand? Didn't allow pride to block him from falling out of good grace with the Most High. And David on record saying, I hate vain thoughts. 
that show y'all vain is worthless. That show y'all every thought that come across your mind is not of the most high. Every thought that come across your mind, you got to look, your thoughts are not your own anyway. They either from Satan or the most high. And then you choose which ones you going to manifest. You choose which one become your reality by entertaining. You understand? Yeah, you choose it. You got to stop blaming everybody for your, I'm depressed and I'm sad. That you chose to, You chose to be that. You chose to be angry. You chose to be depressed. You did. When we start taking responsibility, then the accountability falls on us. And we'll stop blaming everybody for what we feel like inside. Because inside, inside is what we offer the world. Your thoughts and your feelings and your emotions is what influence your world, your atmosphere. It is. For the longest, we were taught opposite. You understand? Like we just... We, like, we're just hopeless bystanders that things just happen to, you know. I just, that just happened out of nowhere. No, that's not the truth. Your thoughts, feelings, and emotions directly influence your reality. Right? If you got angry thoughts and angry feelings and angry emotions and angry talk, then guess what your reality is about? It's anger. And we all know anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Scriptures say don't be hasty in your spirit to be angry. You see? Yeah. What you feel on the inside, you understand, directly reflects your reality. You feel me? Now it's time to fight to gain this back. Right? Whenever evil invade or come knocking, rebuke it. Say, look, get behind me. That is not the mind of Christ. You dig? Christ wouldn't be sitting up here thinking of entertaining this and then speaking like this against his brother or sister. Get behind me. That's treason against the throne of the Most High. The Most High hate that. And guess what, y'all? That spirit leaves. Now you're working on casting out spirits. Yeah, but you're starting with yourself. But it, it takes for you to it, it start with yourself. right? Stop giving in to what they call your weaker self. Look, the, the, the thoughts of Satan don't belong to you. Right? They simply come to test you to see, are well, you going to entertain this? Huh? Or are you going to speak this? Or are you going to act on this until this is your reality? We all know death and life is in the power of what? The tongue. But you speak about what you think about. So you can take it a step further. It's in the mind then the tongue, then the action, then your reality, right? Take back your tools of manifestation. You mean to take back your mind. If you take back your mind, you understand? Meaning every time something wicked attempts to invade, kick it out. You got the power. Whether you say it under your voice or out loud, man, look, get behind me. That is not the mind of Christ. That is not the mind of the anointed. Get behind me. No. Now nah, that's treason against the Most High. I don't even want to hear that. What you're doing is waging war against the dark forces that's attempting to invade your mind. You feel me? Stop worrying too. Since when worrying did anything for you but, it, but kill you? Right? I'm short on this. Worrying about it ain't going to make you not short on it. Last time you worried your way into paying a bill. Worrying ain't going to get nothing done. How about you go about your day as if you already got it? You feel me? And at that point, guess what you're doing? You're putting your, 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 your in the mindset of operating and manifesting what it is you need. You dig? You can't manifest nothing worrying about it. But a, but a reality full of doubt. You feel me? Second guessing. And a reality of doubt ain't a reality of faith. You never see any miracles behind that. So no, she said, I hate vain thoughts, worthless thoughts. Whatever is worthless that attempts to come knocking at your mind, y'all, all you got to do is kick it out. You understand? And that's simply by saying it. You feel me? Oh, no, you can't come in here. That's evil. That, that's not the mind of the anointed of God. That's not the mind of Christ. 
That ain't the mind of your old hey wife. Hey, no, no, you can't come up in there. Bye. You can say it out loud with your mouth, or you can say it in your mind. You feel me? Get up out of me. Leave me. In the name of Yahushua the Messiah. Bye. I plead the blood of Yahushua against every unclean spirit attempting to invade my vessel. Bye. Loose yourself. And what y'all gonna see is that inspiration that you thought you was in, it leaves. Now you're banging in the spirit at that point. You're actually banging in the spirit because something about the name of the Most High and His Son that the spiritual realm has to respect. And the spirits hear all that and be like, oh, no, I got to go. And they be gone for a minute, then they come on back. But now you can... Now you're getting strong and stronger. You feel me? Stop claiming defeat. That's vain. That's a vain thought. Right? There ain't nothing you can't do. You put your mind to it. And nothing you can't do. You just got to have the, the faith and the patience, what they call the perseverance, to persevere through. Of course, there's going to be ups and downs and hiccups. Ain't nothing ever went smooth for you in life. I know for me it ain't. You feel me? You may have in your mind to set out to do something, but expect, expect the finish. And that's the point. No matter the ups and downs you go through, there's going to be bumps and bruises and ups and downs. It's to try to see if you're really strong up here. You feel me? Yo, if, yo, if, yo, if, you got, if your mind is strong, you understand? That's what the adversary is scared of. A strong mind, a strong faith. He can't do nothing with you. All right, next scripture is Psalm 119, verse 128. Psalm 119, verse 128. We got to grow to hate what the most high hate. Hate vain thoughts. And y'all learn to rebuke. When I'm, I'm, and look, I'm just not telling y'all things that I ain't putting into action myself. You understand? You have to learn how to wage war in the spirit. All right? Whenever there's an evil thought or anything or a thought that's against the Bible, which is the words of the Most High, which is the mind of the Most High, words or thoughts, they're just visible thoughts. They're on paper now. Okay? Anything against the mind of the Most High, you understand? All you got to do, you can either say it out loud, you can whisper, or you can say it in your mind. Oh, no, get behind me. I'm not doing that. That is against the mind of your old Why? That's against the mind of the Christ. Get behind me. I bind you and cast you forth now. Start doing it. And you're going to see it work. You're like, man, I don't even feel angry no more. I don't even feel lustful no more. I don't even feel like stealing that no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't even feel like slandering no more. Why these were spirits sent from Satan's kingdom to get you to go off. You see? But once you start learning how to bang in the spirit, now you really a threat. See, men walk around, you know, we all got guns. That's flesh, though. That's flesh. That's only gonna get us so far. That's just to protect, you know. And everything go haywire, man, to, you know, put somebody down or shoot somebody in their foot to get them away from your family or something. And they once you learn how to bind and cast forth spirits, now you, now you are really a threat to Satan's kingdom. And this is what they don't want you to learn. You feel me? And you just start with yourself. And what you're going to be, y'all be calling me, hey, Mally, it's straight work. I know it worked. I know it worked. Stop getting advice from people who ain't never did it. You see? Once you, I don't give advice about stuff I ain't never been through. I refuse to. I don't know if I ain't never been through it. How can I give you advice on it? I ain't never did it. But what I'm telling y'all, to, to, to learn how to wage war against Satan's kingdom and start with yourself. All right? We all, every day, Satan attempts to invade our mind with thoughts that are contrary to the scripture. It's a simple way to play it. And you know what they are. It's all different. We all go through different wars and battles, Right? So you know personally what these thoughts are. And if you've entertained them in the past. But from this point on, all you got to do is just identify it. 
Identify it. Don't duck it. Identify it. Oh, no, that's the spirit of soul. Oh, get behind me. That's the mind. That's not the mind of the Messiah. I bind you and cast you forth now in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. Loose yourself. I plead the blood of Yahushua against you now. Come up out of me. And if it don't leave right then and there, just keep doing it. Keep repeating that. You feel me? And what you're going to find out is I don't even feel like doing that. What I, what, what, what I just was getting inspired to do that was against the Most High, I no longer have that feeling. Guess what, guess what that means? You successfully just expel the spirit. You see? And we're supposed to be teaching our brothers and sisters how to do this. You understand? Everybody should know how to do this. It's right here in the scripture. Go ahead, Iman. Mindset of sickness, you know, like somebody yeah. might be fine doing just right now. Like I said, if, if everybody in here is feeling fine, no pain, no nothing. All of a sudden, period come where, bam, something hits you. You don't know what it is, why it happened, blah, 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 blah. Because he's trying to get you to doubt, to fear, because once he can get you to do those things, then you. You with him. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So if you could say, oh, something just happened to me. I went to be sick. Let me go to the nurse room. But instead of doing what you advise us to do, what the scripture advises us to do, yeah. we doubted all that and said, no, I got to go to the doctor. Yeah. Because uh -uh, I, I wasn't feeling like this five minutes ago. Yeah. You because accept. you didn't understand that you was under, you were under attack. Now. That's right. That's right. Y'all, we have invisible enemies. And it manifests. Sometimes it be a pain in your flesh or something, or you, you feel me, wherever. You have invisible enemies. Majority of this stuff be spirits. No doubt. My young son, I rebuked the spirit of fever off my, my young son in the back. You know what I'm saying? Probably like a month ago. He's flaming hot. He did. And I sat there for a whole hour. You feel me? A whole hour, I rebuked the spirit of burning, inflammation, and fever. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I plead the blood of Yahushua Mashiach against every spirit of sickness, burning, and fever that is attempting to invade my son right now. Loose yourself and come about him. Right. I did that for within an hour, his fever broke. That's right. Telling you what I know, y'all, it's power there. You just got to believe it. Doubting is the enemy of your faith because you're second guessing the Most High. You understand? You you brought it up the other day, Imah, when uh, the, when the Messiah, when he was in uh, his hometown, he couldn't even do no miracles because nobody there believed. And that's what you, and that's all you're doing. You're convincing the mind that is healed. You feel me? And the body follows. You see? Stop saying that I am sick. I am this. So I'm saying, no, I am healthy. I am righteous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you'll start seeing, like, when, when you start getting motion, and you start seeing, okay, man, that pain is, is gone. Ain't that fever gone. Man, that disease is no more. You feel me? You see, even when you go to the doctor and they diagnose you with something, notice you feel a certain way. You know why? Because your mind accepted that you were sick. You received it, right? You accepted it, and now the body follows what the mind receives. So let me say this as an analogy. You yeah. Go ahead, Mom. So what we have to understand is that the spirits work on a certain frequency. Yeah. And that signal comes in the form of a thought, a pain, a feeling, uh, a nudging, a desire, or whatever. And so if you give in, like you just said, if you give in, and instead of me, okay, I got a headache. Where'd that come from? I tell that fucker, I call him a fucker. I say, fucker, bag up off of me. You ain't allowed to be up in here. You better get, you better find the right house, because you at the wrong house. Yeah, you got to. Guess what, as soon as I say that? Yeah. 
Huh? Because I resisted him. Now, what the Bible says? Resist the devil. And he'll just, you know, slide away from you. Yeah. It said he'll run away. He'll flee. He flee. He'll flee from you. You got to realize the power that's there. It's already there. You believe. You sealed. You believe in the testimony of Messiah. And they can come in ways of smell. Like you, all of a sudden you smell this real funky, stinking. Yeah. Man Horrendous. Ooh. Ooh. Like, man, yeah. what? Yeah, boy, one of these. Yeah, one of these jokers that entered the premises. Oh, no, you got to go. I don't smell one. I don't smell one of them suckers before. Yeah. Yeah. Give off a certain smell. Yeah. Every time I would go in this one particular spot in the house, I'm like, wait, I got to go back there. I got I to gotta see if I'm tripping or something else going on. I went back and walked through that doorway. It was right at the doorway. So that entity was in the doorway. I'm like, what's going on? You know, I'm bad luck. This is the wrong house, buddy. Get on up out of here. And then we just show how much she locked. And then little bitch, I went back there. I didn't smell it no more. Hey. Waging war on the spirit. That's what we be. We we supposed to be a supernatural army. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But the, the adversary's trick is to get you to doubt what it is. Cause you be like, dang, what if it don't work? Yeah. Oh, I don't be out here looking stupid. Like <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's the adversary. Yeah. They, you see, y'all don't want to. Once you understand that 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 the Messiah, where he at, is above what where Satan is at. That puts you in authority over Satan because you're in him, the Messiah. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? The, the, those spirits, those devils, are scared of his name and are scared of his blood. It's frightened. Frightened. You feel me? And again, this is what makes you a threat. You feel me? Because now you know how to properly wage war. And you're not a Negro keeping it to yourself. You're spreading it to everybody. All your brothers and sisters. That way, no matter where we at, we, hey, we can corner. We, hey, we can, hey, game over. That's right. Checkmate. That's right. Because if Miley, for instance, if Miley is getting attacked right now, he tell us. I'm under attack right now. Something's going on. He just all of a sudden black out because he can't tell us the rest because we already out, right? It's got to be somebody up in here to know how to wage war in the spirit to get it off of him. That's right. That's why we have to know what to do. That's right. Hey, look, y'all, and look, it's all there. It's not, this is not spookism. This is not sky daddy stuff. This is truth. It's power and it's an absolute. You just got to know it. And what I did, I started... I, I went back through the Gospels and through the Acts, everywhere where the Messiah and his uh, disciples was getting down in the spirit. You feel me? And I slowed down. Let me slow down and highlight all this and read. Man, it's action packed. And I seen, I said, okay, he sent us out to attack Satan's kingdom because this is where the power is at. The power is in him. He said, because I go to my father, you're going to do the works that I do and even greater. Because I'm with my father. So now you got access to the father because of where my position is at. You just got to believe it. You understand? And, 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 and walk that thin, narrow line. You got to walk it. But look, the belief is where it's at. The bigger the faith, the bigger the miracles. Get your prayer game up your, and your fasting. When you start fasting more often. You understand? That's another way to, to really, really tap in and to link in. Spend less time on social media and more time meditating, praying after you study and all that. You understand? Like challenging yourself to be a better man or a better woman in y'all case than the day before. You understand? That should be in your prayers. I want to do the works of Messiah and even greater. I desire it for the glory of the Most High, not me. You know what I'm saying? That should be one of your go- let your main goal. You feel me? I want to be instrumental in bringing down Satan's kingdom. I want to be one of them. Use me. You feel me? She might like, don't nobody else want to get out. I do. I ain't in love with this world. At, I'm talking about at all. So what's up? You know, but you got to be open. You got to open yourself up to the spirit of the Almighty and be willing to be obedient and not to be afraid. 
Right? If you believe it, I'm telling you, you're going to start seeing things happen. You rattle Satan right on up. Yeah. Like, dang. And I found out. You dig? And, and you're going to be circumspect about what you put in. This is his body. It's not yours. Salute it's his spirit. It's not yours. Yeah. It's his soul. It's not yours. Right. You realize we don't own nothing. You don't even own yourself. You got to be, when, when you engage in the warfare on that level, you got to be very circumspect on what you put in. You feel me? You will have an adverse reaction. You cannot be out here waging war against Satan's kingdom, doing Satan's bid business. You did. You have to walk a thin, narrow line. You may not be able to hang out as much as you used to. You did. You ain't gonna be able to be in uh, vain and carnal conversations as much as you used to. None of my brothers is in the faith. You feel me? Like there's a there's a second awakening that must take place. Once you come into this, you 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 learn the basics. But there's a second awakening that must take place. You feel me? And that's the reality of who you are in relation to the Son of the Most High. Can I say something? Go ahead. About that. What Mali is trying to say in our in retrospect is this is building a relationship with the Most High. It's falling in love with Him. It's just like if you were in a new relationship, you know all your time going for that new relationship. Yeah, because I'm going home and you know my. My wife, my husband, you're going to do this, la, 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 la. It, that's how it is when you get to that next level of Yeshua. It's falling in love with him. When you fall in love with something, you want to know how it tick. You want to know how it click. You want to know what makes it happy. You want to know what don't make it happy. Okay? So what he's trying to say is once you get to that next level, you're not going to have the desire, certain desires anyway because your desire is on this love affair with the with the, the one and only begotten son, Yeshua HaMashiach. That's right. That's right. It truly is about what? Falling in love and willing to be an obedient servant. He say, even unto death. Even unto death. You see that? Even unto death. And I promise you a crown of life. Hallelujah. That's powerful, man. So what? Look, knowing that we that we got access to the throne of heaven, knowing that we got access to the Holy Spirit and all that, you just got to choose to believe and do what we care about. What man can do to us? Nothing. Man, I don't care nothing about all that. Hey, look, the get back gonna be sweet. You understand? Most I ain't gonna get all that get back in due season, right? But we are supposed to be focused on that's the work right there. Bind up devils, cast them out, heal the sick. Raised the dead, cleansed the lepers, and many more things he was doing, Hallelujah. right? And also what we saw about last night is men creating an atmosphere that's conducive to the Bible for these women and these children. You understand? Hallelujah. That's our job. We got to get these sisters off these jobs, getting flirted with, got to get these babies out these schools, you understand? Getting read books by drag queens and Amy has two moms, you know what I'm saying? That's what we supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be living like we in the kingdom already. Absolutely. And that's how we're going to be amongst believers. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? If that means, you know what I'm saying, we get us some land two hours outside St. Louis. That's right. In the country. That's right. Missouri or Illinois, wherever we got to go. That's right. You understand? And start building. But, you know, we are, we making plans now. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. But that's what it's about. If it ain't about that, y'all, I don't even want to fellowship with them. If it ain't about the kingdom of the Most High. Spiritually, we casting them out. We healing on a physical level too. Shout out to my Aki Aki with the herbs. Hallelujah. That's powerful. Hallelujah. That's a powerful work. Yes, it is. You understand? That's a powerful knowledge that, uh, that we need. That you need to be able to look at uh, plants and shrubs. You know, oh, now we can eat that. You know what I'm saying? Now we can make that tea out of that. Or we can. You understand? Absolutely. And also on a physical level, building into the most high snatches of her and put us in the wilderness. Absolutely. Where are we gonna be at? But right now, we are commanded to build a house, take wives, and plant vineyards. Why are you in captivity? That's what it's saying in Jeremiah 29 chapter. That's how we, every captivity we lived amongst each other. Absolutely. Believers. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it was. And that's what it, that, it got to be. Psalm 119, 128. Watch this. Psalm 119, verse 128. It says, therefore, I'm going to start at verse uh, 126. It says, it is time for thee, Yahweh, to work 
for they have made void thy law. Ooh, he said, my David saying, man, these people out here them voided out the most high law. It's time for you to work, most high. 27. Therefore, I love your commandments above gold. Yea, above fine gold. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. And I hate, and I hate every false way. You know, that we have to grow to become that. That's the mind we got to have. If it's false, I don't want nothing to do with it. If it's righteous and it's in the Bible that the Most High done ordained, we should be all in for it. You know what I'm saying? If not, what you need to do is check yourself. Am I really measuring up to the standard of holiness the Most High has set in the Bible? The Bible are the words of the Most High, which mean they are his mind. Yeah, verse 128. Psalm 119, verse 128. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Let that mind be in us. You understand? It look, even tell you in Philippians, let that mind be in you, which was also in Messiah. Now, look, Yahushua, Mashiach, had the mind of his father in him. And that mind supposed to be in us. You see? That's the next scripture since we're talking about it. Philippians, the second chapter. We got a few more scriptures, y'all, then we're going to close on up. Philippians chapter 2, yeah. Uh, we're supposed to be a supernatural army. Messian messianic mercenaries. Yeah, so that's what it's about. We're supposed to be teaching our brothers and sisters these things. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be, we're supposed to be expecting to see what they call miracles. We're supposed to be expecting that. I expect it to happen. You feel me? I already be focused on the outcome and the feeling I'm going to have when I see you smiling. Like when I, I'm Israel that had that aneurysm. You know what I'm saying? That brother at home. Hallelujah. That brother was up walking uh, probably like two, three days later. Hallelujah. I told all the brothers on the WhatsApp, ain't no sense in being sad. What you're sad for? Let's, let, let, let's go ahead and, and petition the throne of the Most High right now and plead the blood of Yahushua against, against that aneurysm. You feel me? And everybody in y'all mind, keep in mind that smile that we all know he have. When he say, when he see us and say, Shalom Hebrew, focus on that and that feeling you're going to have when you see him. You feel me? The doctor said that was the worst aneurysm they ever seen. Somebody that had an aneurysm that was in there with him died. Yeah. Yeah, that brother, look, they, they said it was the worst they ever seen. But we pleaded the blood of Yahushua against that, that aneurysm and commanded it to come up out of there. Boy, they went up to that hospital. Boy, did a, a WhatsApp video. That brother was up walking. The nurse was like, do you, do, you, uh, do you need some help? He was like, no, I don't need no help. I'm up walking. I'm good. Yeah. You feel me? He was back at home probably within a few weeks. And then it was the worst aneurysm the hospital had ever seen. Yeah, power. Yeah. Another brother uh, sent out his uh, uh, old PP. I put it up in the... Uh, I mean, his... Look, his niece was on her deathbed. Diabetic seizure was in a coma. You dig? He left. He emailed me the testimony. I'll, I'll send it to... Matter of fact, I sent it to Nehemiah. If he got all y'all email, he emailed it out. You know what I'm saying? He emailed me the testimony while we was doing class last night. See, daughter was in a diabetic coma for two days. They said she was going to be brain dead and everything. He get on there and was like, it was like, uh, hey, Ak Mali, can you remember my niece in y'all prayers? I'm like, for sure. I, look, we don't know the specifics. You feel me? I'm like, yeah, for sure, Hebrew. We'll bring her before the throne of the Most High. Soon as soon as the prayer hour will come up. You dig? And we was calling on uh, uh, Yahweh, Rofeka, Rofanu. Rofeka, your healer. Rofanu, our healer. Rain down a healing that is complete. A healing that's understood. By Hashem in the name of Amashiach, the Messiah, Yahushua. Yahweh's deliverer. 
You dig? Man, we did that till we all felt warm. I was in here sweating. You dig? Two days later, two days later, he finds out she mysteriously woke up two days earlier in the midst of the night. Hallelujah. Just so happened to be when we was praying. Hallelujah. He sent the law. He said, bro, and I'm sending this just in case anybody getting their mind to deny the power of the most high. You dig? He's like, I know this is real. And then he showed uh he showed uh his brother, which is his, his niece's father. You feel me? Like, look, man, I told you, man, I'm 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 uh I'm uh, uh conversing and in fellowship with these Israelites. You know what I'm saying? These brothers over here honoring humility, man. Look, they that we that them and the entire Israel that was on the live chat, we are they all sent up prayers for our niece, your daughter. You dig? They said everybody in the hospital was stunned. Hallelujah. Woke right up. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, it's power there. Ain't no, this, this, this is not, again, this is not a, a theoretical. It's not a theory. We not like, it, it may or it could. You feel me? If you believe it, meaning I, I already see the outcome, we're going to choose the outcome we want out of this. You feel me? Mm -hmm. A complete healing. We're going to go ahead and choose. Because look, that what, what, what you think it means to have faith? I, I believe, okay, well, that's the outcome I want is a complete healing yes. out of this situation. Yes. And then you just focus on the feeling you're going to have when the news come through your phone or walk through your door that, man, a miracle happened. Hallelujah. Focus on the feeling you're going to have. Hallelujah. That's the confirmation. That's what it is. You see what I'm saying? Other than that, guess what feeling you focusing on? Doubting Hallelujah. and worrying. Yes. Oh, it can't happen. And what does that do for you? Nothing. What does that do for the situation? Nothing, Nothing at all. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Your, your thoughts, your feelings, and your emotion directly affect what, what your reality is out here. Y'all haven't watched it happen too many times. And especially within the past few months, it's been happening back yeah. to back yeah. to back. I'm like, oh, thank you, most high. Yes, hallelujah. It's humbling. It's exciting, but it's humbling it's too humbling. late. Dang, that, that happened again. I, yeah, I expected to happen. But whoa. You did. So it's time to teach the brothers and sisters, look, this is what we're supposed to be doing. And y'all, when we focus on that, guess what? We ain't about to be arguing about nothing. Too many of our people need deliverance. Too many of our people need prayer and healing. What are we arguing about? Get to work. Right? Go ahead, Iman. So if you if you're praying over somebody with somebody whatever your situation is, you calling back into existence what you're praying for. The word of Yahweh says that we walk by faith and not by sight. See, those are not empty words. Those are words of action. That's right. That's right. Full action. Full, Full action. belief. Full belief. You feel me? Things as if they were. Right. right, so that means you got an expectation of it to turn out this way. Absolutely, that's just what it is. It's just about carrying. Yeah, forward. yeah, it, it already exists. It's already there. You just got to have the patience to receive, to watch it manifest Absolutely. and become a reality. Absolutely. It's already there. Absolutely. Right, there ain't nothing you can't ask him for that he won't do. Come on. Right, you just got to believe it, man. We got to stop thinking of ourselves so low. And I'm not worthy. And I was weak. And I as if the things just happen out of nowhere. Yeah. No, 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 no. You are active in this thing called That's creation right. in life. That's right. You're active in it. Absolutely. And either the most I can use you as a vessel of honor or a vessel of dishonor. Y'all worrying, doubting, you understand, playing the pity party. All that ain't never did nothing for us. Yeah. You said something to me last week, and I'm mm -hmm. I want to encourage you about that. Hallelujah. When you walked me out to my car and you was concerned with the condition of my van, mm. that spoke for your integrity. Mm. Because you say, hey, mama, we need to get this done. Yeah. Okay? All right. Because you showed that you care. Okay? Now I'm thinking, oh, man, I got to buy this pulley. I got to pay. I'm being honest. I got to buy this pulley. I got to buy that pulley. Okay. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So the next day, when I left you, it was 
Get them attention to pull these knots, right there. Yeah, yeah. Worrying ain't never did nothing for us. And when we worry, the Most High can't do nothing for us. He wants you to be fully locked in, like I know it can happen. So I don't care what happens to that baby. You know why? I'm waiting for my next one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, praise. Hallelujah. All right, hallelujah. All right, y'all. Philippians two. We're gonna read one through five, and we're gonna close out with John fourteen. Close out with John fourteen. And then uh, I'm going to do a part two to uh, don't deny the power of the most high more than likely on the first day of the week or maybe Monday coming up. But it because it, there's so many more scriptures. Like if y'all really start with the book of Mark because Mark, like, it, it really, like it, it, it's, it's miracles all over the gospels. Yeah. But in that book of Mark, they just, on, they just back to back to back. You like, man, again, again, like, I mean, everywhere. Right, and just go through every world where it's healing and devils being cast out, and things getting done that the world called miracles, and and slow down and 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 trip off what's really happening, right? And when you study and this what you do, get you a notebook, write on there who, where, when, why, and how, and in each instance you see a miracle happening, identify every part of it. Who is it? What is it? Why is it? How? You understand? And then that way you can start pulling out of the text everything, you understand, that was happening right there. Y'all, a lot of it is a command. A lot of it is a command. Hold your peace and come about him. You know what I'm saying? He didn't say, dear Father God, tell this. He actually, and majority of it is a command. You understand? It's a command. So do that everywhere in the Gospels and in the Acts. You feel me? Underline Highlight every word where it's been some type of every some type of demon cast forth, some type of disease healed, some type of what they call miracle happen. Document it, study that, and and and, and then holler at me because once you study it, you're gonna be meditating like, dang, that did happen, that did happen, and watch it increase, watch it increase your faith. So that way, no matter what you up against, you gonna be like, man, yeah, whatever. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's what I had to do. I just went through all the Gospels. And when I got to Mark, I'm like, man, if that book of Mark is popping. I ain't I ain't read it all the way through. Probably never, because I'm usually just precept here, precept there, precept. Man, that book of Mark go hard against Satan's kingdom. It do. You feel me? Document, and again, so you can, what they call extrapolate. Pull out everything out the text you need to benefit your understanding. Write on, write on your notebook who, what, where, when, why, and how. For every instance, you see what they call a miracle. You feel me? And what you're going to be doing by doing that, you're going to be identifying, you know what I'm saying, key components in there that'll help you build your faith. You understand? Things you need to know to wage war in the spirit. Things you've read over before, you just, it just never sunk in. Like, dang, I ain't that dude say that. I ain't never trip off that. That actually says that. All right? And then next time a, a situation happened, be fully resolved to go ahead and, and uh, put it to the test. Be fully resolved. Man, next time that pop up, I'm doing that. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Go boldly in the grace of the most high. Boldly. All right, Philippians 2. We got two more scriptures and we're going to close out. All right. Philippians chapter 2. We're going to start at verse 1. It says, if there, be, if there be therefore any consolation in the Messiah, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be what? Like-minded having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. You see? 
when you done talking the work he sent us out to do, you feel me, ain't the work most of these brothers out here doing. I mean, it's beneficial. It's extra stuff that we could be doing, you know what I'm saying, to teach the nation. Like, you know, well, we, we need basics, like what day the Sabbath day is and uh, men, how to conduct yourself, sisters, how to conduct yourselves. We need to know what to eat. Shabbat shalom, bro. what to eat and what not to eat. We need to know, stay away from idolatry and, you know, what feast days. We, we need to know all that. You dig? But, but it comes to a point to where it's time for us to go on attack mode against Satan's kingdom. All right? We supposed to be on one accord when it comes to that. We can argue all day about our different perspectives on history, right? Whether you believe King James was black or not, or Genghis Khan was an Israelite or a Japhite, or you know, we can argue on our different perspectives on history all day. But when you're done talking, the work he called us to do was to attack Satan's kingdom. We have invisible enemies, and you got the power to put his kingdom on notice. Bind them and cast them forward. You got that. You feel me? Sometimes it take an hour. Within that hour, they came out. And we've seen it. You see what I'm saying? And not only that, for the, us men to produce atmospheres for the wives and the children. That's the work he's talking about, us being one-minded on. On one accord. You feel me? Other things, you're going to see, because you're going to see the scriptures in different. I was talking to Jay Easy earlier. About, you know, certain things, certain brothers teach that we don't agree with. You understand? But that's everybody in Israel. Right. It's brothers here in St. Louis that I've known going on 15 years I don't agree with on everything. You understand? So what is the work that he charged us to do? And one thing I found when y'all when y'all start going with the miracles and all that, one thing I found everywhere he sent us forth, forth he sent us out to attack Satan's kingdom. You can't find one time he didn't send us out to, not to do that. You see, today everybody's debating intellectually. It's an intellectual debate. You know what I'm saying? The Spartans was Israelites or they weren't. Or they weren't. Huh? The people in the 300 was Israelites or they wasn't. You feel me? Hispanics and Native Americans are Israelites or they Japhites. Well, now you Negroes are Hamites. And the, and the Hispanics are the real Israelites. And the gypsies. And the, you know, it, 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 it's never ending. It's a dog chasing his tail. So what you're saying, we're missing the forest for the trees. Yeah, well, yeah you know it, that, that's exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we ain't even focused on the work he told us to do. I'm with, all, I'm with the street teaching. And we go into the streets and teach. That's cool. You feel me? But since when all that's been the focus and not to attack Satan's kingdom, our people need healing and our people need deliverance. Yeah. And why ain't that being taught? Every ministry out here that's an Israelite ministry should be a ministry of delivering and healing. It should be. Then we can put the extras out there like, okay, we, we hit the streets up. We got a historical day. We got a Bible prophecy day when it comes down to what's happening with these nations and all that. It did. But since when the, the delivering and the healing been neglected? Y'all, it's to the point where it don't even get talked about because we don't even believe it can happen. Yep. Exactly right, Hebrew. Yes, sir. We don't even believe it can happen. You heard nowhere. Yeah. Not amongst, not amongst the Israelite community. At all. It's not even taught. It's like there's not even, I'm talking about applied, taught, none of it. So that means we're not even doing the work that the Messiah called us to do. You doing extras, which I mean, which is beneficial. It is. Our people need to know basics. You understand? But there's a there's a second awakening that must take place. And that's what I'm talking about. You feel me? And the scriptures say anybody denying the power of God, turn away from him. You know, get away from him. And the thing about this, you know, let me speak on this, uh, is that we were talking about this earlier too. We got loved ones. We have uh 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 Brethren in truth and in deed, you know what I'm saying? But when they coming off wrong, coming off wrong, we need to reproof and correct that. Yeah. We do. But what we do is that we have such a great respect of person. Yeah. That's that's who we are. You look at it in every aspect of life that we live in. Whether Maya Angelo, all of these different people of so called great people, they didn't believe in the most high. Amen. You know what I'm saying? They didn't believe in the most high. So how are we supposed to hold them? Or how are we supposed to you know, so how are we supposed to right, look at this? Right, right, right. All along, every nation, we talking about earth, every nation does what you're talking about. Yeah. 
They take care of their own. They build. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Do. And all these other men from these other nations, because I've met many men from different nations. Yes. They don't play the word games like we do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They be straight to business. They, they, they say, not, they not lip say. wrestling. Yeah. Right. They not right. lip wrestling. They, just, right. they not right. lip right. wrestling. Right. Yeah. Right. And they put, man, listen, they put their hands to the plow. Yeah. I'm talking about this earlier. Yeah. And we don't do that. No. Nah. We don't do that. We don't speak on healing. None of this, none of these type of things. And if you don't use what the Most High gave you, what, what He gave us, we are gonna lose it. We losing it now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We we losing it now. So I'm gonna tell you like we think that we go to the doctors, we go to the hospital. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, doctors say this, doctors say that. We don't even think about seeking the Most High first. Come on. We never do. She just said that. That's powerful. And powerful. look, you know we're not even live, so that's the same spirit. Yeah. Right, she right, just right. said that. Powerful, same spirit. Hallelujah. All right, go ahead, bro. The thing about it is, is that we think that man has the answers to everything. Come on. Everything. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you like this. We just a drop in the bucket. And so evil and so wicked. <laughs> Continually. Oh, yeah, man. 144,000. You know a remnant of a remnant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how the most I get down. Either you're going to believe what I say and do what I say, or you ain't. And if you ain't, then this is what I got for you. A remnant of a remnant, Hebrew. Yeah. 144,000. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So the most I got warriors out here, but we got to get down back to the basic. To the basic. Every other nation is doing what we need to get back to. Come on. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, hey, man, and I'm, I'm going to tell you like this, and if you're not part of the... Uh, Solution. Solution. You in the way. You, you in the way. either in the truth or you in the way. Can you, I just you say, say that? That's no, just what go, go ahead, Jay. Go ahead. Um, when we come out strong criticizing brothers and sisters that's doing something, even mm -hmm. if we don't agree with it, I find it's more and more in Israel. Mm -hmm. If you ain't doing nothing, shut up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> even if these brothers, you, they off kilter. You know, they off point. Okay, but they're doing something. You ain't doing nothing but going on and criticizing what other people you feel should be doing. And you ain't doing a daggone thing. Right. Come on, man. Right, right. Being sloth, and I'm guilty of being sloth. But none of that right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we all got work to do, bro. Yes, we do. I pray to the most high. I say, most high, make me a fisherman, a fisherman of man again. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is what time it is, bro. It is. Time is short. Time is short. We either keep a lip fumbling, or you know what I'm saying? Or be about this business, yep. right? And, to, and that's what we doing. They just identifying what that work is. You know what I'm saying? You see, like, all right, well, that's what we supposed to be doing. And you see in the book of Acts, they immediately got it cracking. They ain't even wait. They like, oh, okay. Saw him a sin. It's like, oh, all right. Got to hit with them fiery tongues. Oh, uh -huh. went right up in there in Acts three and, and told old boy in the name of the Messiah, get up. I ain't got no gold or silver for you. What pumped him up? Oh, he got, he got, he got up leaping and you know what I'm saying? You see, and then the book, the Acts is called the Actions of the Apostles. It's a short, it, 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 that's the short phrase, Acts. The original name of it was called Actions of the Apostles. The actions and work they were doing after they saw the Messiah sin. Then they got hit with that power. In chapter two, you feel me? And start prophesying. And chapter three kicked off. Look, look, I'm talking about it hadn't even been, it had been roughly 50 days since the Messiah was executed. Because they was they was around Pentecost, right? Man, they in there banging this truth. You dig? In front of the naysayers who conspired to put him to death. That's what I'm talking about. They weren't scared. Yeah. They weren't scared. Wasn't scared at all. We and we shouldn't be scared. Never deny or doubt the most high. And if you do, you die. Yeah. Yeah. You pray for him, you die. Oh my had Nehemiah sent out that uh that testimony the op sent yesterday. His niece was in a diabetic coma. Doctors wrote off and everything. You feel me? When when, when we start praying for her at the hour of prayer, and and uh because he asked for it over the live chat, you know what I'm saying? Us here at Honor Humility and the rest of Israel that was listening. You dig? And we called on the name of the Most High and the name of his son and pleaded the blood of Yahushua. You feel me? And brought his niece. I didn't even know her name. We bring the niece of Pete, Pete, before your throne. Heavenly Father. 
in the name of your son and we plead the blood of your son against whatever spirit this is that's plaguing up. Man, that brother, man, look, that brother say that young sister woke up out of her coma. Bro, woke clean up out of her coma. Set up on the edge of her bed. Doctors was like, whoa! You dig? So when we were doing the class last night, he like, Mally, look, I'm a witness. You dig? And I had forgot he had asked us to do that. This was like a, a month and a half ago. Mm-hmm. Then he like, Mally, I'm a witness. Remember my niece? So he typed a little bit in. I say, bro, go ahead and send the testimony through. He said, it's already done. Hallelujah. Man, I checked that email, man. That deal was that long. <laughs> that brother wasn't playing. You know what I'm saying? And he said, when he got about the week finished praying, he felt with a surety he knew his niece was good. Hallelujah. He said, boy, that, this, his nephew came through that door. And his uh, brother. Who did it sound like? Uh, the one who had the, the son was his daughter. His son it's was his girl. Yeah, his, his little girl was sick. Yeah, that Jairus, the, the ruler. Right, 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 right. Yeah. He, he said, listen here, man. It's, it's already, already, he already believed it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He already believed it. Yeah. In that hour, yeah. he believed it. So that's what we lack in this faith, bro. That's the biggest thing. Faith. Yeah, yeah. Faith and trust, man. Yeah, and look at it. Bro, thing, bro, that was, that was powerful, right? bro, I'm telling you, I was like, well, so so when he sent it out, so I sent it to Nehemiah. He gonna send it around, y'all. These testimonies are, are faith boosters mm-hmm. to let you know, man, that power is her. But it makes sense. In an hour when artificial intelligence is going online, being worshipped, in an hour when they doing biohacking and genetic hacking, in an hour when they got attention engineers, Gender reassignment. You dig? Did the most I say, I'm going to pour out my spirit on all flesh in the last day? Didn't he say it? So it makes sense it's hurting. Yes, yes, yes. So we, cause we are in the last day. Yeah. No so it makes sense these things are happening. They make all the sense in the world. You feel me? Oh, of course. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mom. Okay. I just want to say uh, Romans 8 and 28 uh, quotes about. You know, we know. Okay, you know what it quotes. And okay. we know that all things work out to good for those who love the Mosai. All right, all right. So now I said that to say this. The Mosai told me about the brothers that he first brought in. In this wave. Okay, but the Mosai told me about the brothers that he first brought in. In this wave. Okay. Uh, what would you say? I-U-I-C? There's plenty of them. I-S-U-B-K, I-U-I-C. Yeah, I-S-U-B-K. That's the first one I started seeing. On, online, okay, and the most high told me he said he brought them because he said they were the ones to break down the big boulders, they were the ones to wake up the people. He said, and then he's gonna bring in another set. This is what he told me. He's gonna bring in another set to break those stones up that don't need the heavy equipment. I thought was the heavy equipment. He needed them to get folks. Attention. Now, whatever they're doing now is something different. But that's the reason why he brought them online the way he did. To wake up the masses. To break up the masses. To start putting it into their heart, in their mind. Hey, you are Israelite. You know, so that's why he said that he told me to tell the people that. He said, and then after that third set, the, the rocks you were building, then those, the, the, it, it would become gravel. And it, it won't be so hard to work the ground. You know, most how he worked with farming. Okay, and that was his formula. Then now that last set is going to be the ones like Mali, the ones that's going to be able to woo, woo, walk in the spirit. So, so because saying, the way is already made. Do you understand what I'm it's, saying? It's so, you, what you're saying basically in a nutshell is you, you have sowers and you have reapers. You have exactly. One that the seed, but you also have, we have First of all, to go down yeah. the path before he opened the Red Sea, what he did, he opened the Red Sea and he created a path for them. Mm-hmm. So they had, he's saying that he had to create a path. Yeah, I feel you. Like, look, I mean, de- definitely, I mean, you, you can't knock the thousands of people that have woken up. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about going back to, like, the 80s, right, right, 90s, right. And, and, and them brothers been out there. Like, you talking about, in, uh, why, why you going to go to Starbucks and get you some coffee? Them brothers out there in front of the bank. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hard, uncut yes, is what it is. Yes, 
thousands of people are waking up, so that's one thing you can't knock. You know what I'm saying? And them brothers was not hiding. You know what I'm saying? Not hiding right there in your face. That's what it is. You feel me? So the most I use is things for its proper purpose. You know what I'm saying? And then it's a lot of it's a lot of sincere brothers that still left, uh, you know what I'm saying, out of that little situation. Some, you know, some some people are, have gone the wrong way. Like the Negro that got the nerve to call himself the Holy Spirit or, or the, um, the other Negro claim he the third in command under Christ. You know, it's a lot of madness being said, but it's a lot of sincere. I know brothers, you know what I'm saying, from that fold of of, of understanding. And that lets you know, knowledge do puff it up. If you don't keep yourself humble, always give that honor to the most high. You know what I'm saying? People think, thank you, not another. Hey, all glory to him. I'm, I'm just your brother. I'm, and I'm going to remain that. Hallelujah. The grace of the Almighty, I'm, I'm cool Did with that. The angel said, do yeah. not bow down to me. Yeah. Because I am your brother. You know, being on top of that too, what you were talking about, the thing you have to have because if you pray that the most high come into you, he will. If you pray for knowledge, wisdom, understanding, he'll give it to you. Absolutely. No doubt. And after they broke them rocks and they became pebbles, you know what I'm saying? Then you, what you have to do now is discern. Absolutely. And also pray for, for a, a better spirit of discernment. Yeah. You have to discern, okay, well, this is what he said, this is what they said. They bought me into this right here. I yeah. believe it. Yes. So now it's incumbent upon each individual, you know what I'm saying, to because the most I let you know now, you're in there now. You accepted the blood. Blood in, blood out. <laughs> you ain't getting out. You know what I'm saying? So, so now what you have to do, you have to steady seek and steady search. Because Absolutely. what happens is that you have splinter cells that fall off from the original. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And because the original one teaching everything that because once you come into it, just say for instance, you come into a Hebrew. And you be like, man, I believe all this, but certain things I don't believe, and they stuck on this. Now I gotta go out here because I'm on fire now. I gotta go out here, you know what I'm saying, and teach what's real. And then by you doing that, you're gonna have other people that you do bring in. You know what I'm saying? So, so now you're done with that theology right there because sometimes some of it is theology. You know what I'm saying? So, so now what you do is that you branch off, you bring other people into the truth. Now, the branch that you came from, are you still affiliated with, or you do you still break bread with them, and they still on that same land? My question is, if you ain't, if you ain't, if you ain't building, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't gathering, you separate. Absolutely. Is, the, is, is, is that serious? Yeah, you that's true. You came under. I don't care. Is that that is man? But the truth is the truth. Absolutely. And, and, and that's it. But that's what we're supposed to be seeking from. That's what we're supposed to be doing. No respect to person. None of that. Even when I was a shorty, man, I had problems with all these respect the person. Yeah. With my family, respect the person. Well, don't worry about this and that, 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 that. No. He doing this. I'm doing good. But you, you know, this, that. Respect the person. And the most I say, what he say? I hate. He don't deal with respect the person. At all. At all. At all. It's yeah. that simple. But we have to grow, man. We have to grow and we have to test, test every spirit. Every spirit that you come across. Test it. You know what I'm saying? Test it, man. See, see what's going on. If it's a problem with a brother that, that you know you love, or see, you know you listen, see what's really going on. And once you see what's going on, the most I gonna let you know. Then you, you take it from there. But man, we, what we have to do, man, we gotta start loving each other, man, caring about each other, seeing if there's anything I can do for you, if it's if there's something wrong with you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what can we do for each other, man? Right, you know, right. We got this out, because we're gonna need each other. Yeah, right. We ain't got no fun each other. Oh, that's it, man. That's so if we, if we get into all of this other, these other seducing spirits, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah. We all, we got to build as a nation, spiritually, mentally, physically, you know what I'm saying? We, we got to have a, a community where we can live together. Absolutely. And then if, if anybody needs anything, we there. Yeah. We there, yeah. man. That's it. I mean, we can do it in a place like this, but guess what? Brothers and sisters tripping. The ones in, even the ones that's in the truth tripping because get, what we're not doing is we're not loving each other as I said. Come on. We're not doing it, man. And, and that's a big problem, Hebrew. That's a big problem. Show for maturity. Look at the look get some of them the sins taken off your record. <laughs> get some of them sins taken off your record. For maturity. You know what I'm saying? Converting sinner from the earth is ways. That's easy work, man. If we love our brethren and our sisters. Brother, where are the men at? <laughs> so, so they are our protectors. They are our providers. Bally just got to teach about that last night, today. I mean, and it's like it's not sinking in. But, but you know, I, I'm guilty too. 
But because it's, it's, but more, it's, it's more, it's no, more than I can but, count. No, but you here today. I did that. You okay, know what I'm you what I'm came in late, but let, better late than never. But I can't fault my other brethren because I know it is. It ain't is. about fault. It's about responsibility. Yeah, but everybody ain't going to share the same responsibility because it's things that but, goes. But, but what did you just say? You said we should love each other as ourselves. Yeah, we they leaving it all up to yeah, we should, but it's we should. You know what I'm saying? We should. But the thing about this is that we have to get to that point. You know, she points. She points. No, I, I did that most time. The most time told me to do that. I did this like it is. Right, right, one, two. I, I know. Because he was here last night. Right, 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 right. right, Not right, right. feeling well, but he was here. But see, he's this here, ain't feeling well. Hey, Jeremiah sis. was here, wasn't feeling well. But they was. Yo, yo, big sis, this one I'm speaking on, though. See, this, this is the problem. But what I'm saying is that. Until we start to love one another, it ain't going to be, you know what I'm saying, multiple brothers in the seats and this and that. Then it's going to always be more sisters than it is brothers. Because one thing, listen, one thing that, 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 that you cannot understand and feel is what it is like to be a black man dwelling and living within it. Because, now when I say this, listen to me carefully and closely. Everything, because everything is given up to us through the most high. You dig what I'm saying? But guess what? When we don't use that right there, then all these other problems, calamities come, right? Now, look at this. We're the number one endangered species on this planet. You just said that? You said that, Ebro? <laughs> it's all good. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you wow. came at the confirm, so you're doing your job. Right, right. But my point being is that so, and it's not an excuse, but it's a reason. You know, it's not an excuse. We deal with all the jealousy, envy. Even within the camps, you know what I'm saying. So we dealing with all of these demonic spirits, and everything comes through us. Absolutely. And what we do is that we fuck our responsibilities. We do because guess what? Multiple brothers, including myself, should be speaking Hebrew big time to where it's like because it's powerful. Understand that big time. Uh, 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 um, and just out here, man. Just out here with the, with the fatherless, doing the things we supposed to do, need to do. And not tripping off of ourselves or our lives. Because the most I got, our family, we ain't take care of our families, the most I doing. But I love you, brother, but I have one thing to say. No more time for excuses. I said that with no excuse. It's a, re it's a reason for everything. No it's a reason for everything. Yeah. A reason, not no excuse. What I'm telling you is that you don't understand. Listen, I'm in St. Peter's. I'm the most, all, I'm, I'm the most white here. folk and black white folk. Because uh, black folk have to act white. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's real bad, right? So, I know. But my thing is, is that. <laughs> he said it's real bad. <laughs> Black, white folk. That was good. But listen, everywhere I go out there, I'm profiled. You know what I'm saying? I, I got pulled it. over, sobriety checks, all this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, <laughs> sisters, I'm serious, bro. In a, in, in a cold. I already know. Listen, my and You out there with them heathens, bro. Right, I already know. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, is that a lot of more things happen to us than they do y'all because they're trying to break us and keep us up out of this. I totally get that. Right, and they also use the sisters to do it. So my thing is, is that I understand why bros don't always uh, 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 meet the standards we're supposed to meet because it's a man. Listen, Satan is a, and we let him. Absolutely. We, we let him because why? For one thing, man, we have a lot of pride. We got I a lot of foolish that. pride. I get that. Listen, listen, listen. And I'm telling you, because I'm a man. I get that. And I've had it, known it, and have seen it. I'm in my jubilee. You know what I'm saying? So the more, the longer you live, the more temptation comes to you, the more things that you see. I get that. And I look at everything, man, and it's rough. But guess what? We can make it through this. Because I'm living proof. Absolutely. Living proof. One's supposed to be nothing. Absolutely. Nothing. And I still ain't. But I know the most time I love. You are something. Who are you talking about? But what I'm saying is that in the You're eyes child of, of the most high. Right in the eyes of, you know, uh, oh, yeah, I am. Okay. I'm a king. So next time when we pull you up and say, Pepe, I'm a child of the most high. Man, listen. I'm what you want from me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They don't let you all this nigga go crazy. We're going to leave him alone. He know he's a child of the most high. <laughs> See, you got to learn how to use your weaponry. Am I lying, Mr. Mallory? No, you ain't lying. Mr. Mallory taught a lesson. Mr. Mallory taught a lesson about that some time ago. He, you know, when the police come up on him, he go, he gonna start speaking to him. Because guess what? He gonna start speaking to that entity. Because that's just a, a body that's a spirit that's housed by flesh. Listen, you know.
know how many times I got I got locked up and still speak what I speak before I knew the most high. So I don't bow down, I don't fuck with. But you also use what you say, uh what's the word I'm looking for? Discretion. You know, discre- discretion. Yeah. You, you have to know how to move and pull You can know how to move and but, but guess what? Because you don't know who is pulling you over. That thing could go yeah. for you. Yeah. But the biggest thing is that man, you just gotta start loving yourself. Your sister too. Absolutely. Yeah, and just and look and take it serious. Because remember, he gave us warnings in Revelation, Absolutely. chapter two and chapter three, right? You're doing this right, but this is where you're going off it. Get it together before I put your candle out. Hallelujah. Get it together before I kill you and your children. Hallelujah. And you that, feel me? I, yeah. I mean, the onus is on the men when we done talking anyway. It is. You feel me? So no matter no matter what. No matter what perceived, you know, as men, you know, mad at each other, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We still got a job to do. It's fire and brimstone on my end if I don't finish my job. Them, them, some, them some lyrics that we put down a couple years ago. You feel me? He part-timing, but me, I took an oath to my God. It's fire and brimstone on my end. If I don't finish my job, we got to finish. You know what I'm saying? No matter what going on. You gotta finish, and you find out we, regardless, if we, if we let the pride go and just rap to each other, a lot of that stuff go right out the window. It go, I go out the window with a smile, like, "Hey, what up? What up, bro? Hey, what's good?" You see, what I'm saying none of that should stop nothing. You feel me? Spiritual force, but look, it's all good. I know what I gotta do. I'm in it to win it. This is war. I'm in it to win it. You know what I'm saying? We can talk vacation when we get home. You know what I'm saying? We'll get, we walk the king's way. <laughs> the king's way. <laughs> we get a bunch of that rod. You know, we can talk vacation then. Right, right. To the end, all out attack. Look, let's finish this. Philippians 2. Philippians 2, verse 3. Philippians 2, verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Mm, not today's society. Today's society is a, is a me, me, me thing. I got mine. You better get yours. Right? They tell you don't let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Because that's what this whole thing is about. You in the selfie generation. Everybody photoshopping and putting filters on faces and look at me. and Yeah. That's where we at. Right? But that ain't the mind of the most high. Right? Now watch this. It says, verse 4. Now this is real hard to do. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Meaning you ain't supposed to be watching out for you and your possessions. Right. You're supposed to be watching out for you, the possessions and the well-being of all your brothers and sisters. Right. You feel me? This is not a selfish walk. It's selfless. You feel me? Your life is not your own. Our lives belong to each other, to the most high before anything, but then to each other. Why is not a selfish life? It's not selfish. No, I'm saying why is, why is it a selfish life? Why is it because you live to serve, not just the most high, but your brothers and sisters? Because you're sure. Of, of course. Yeah. And look, even Abraham embodied that. Abraham, man, you couldn't even skip past his tent without him, boy, getting getting getting, getting your you, your feet would have been washed. You'd have got you a meal. You'd have, you'd have got you a place to sleep for the night. And a flag of the wine. And a, a, a big old flag of the wine. Good, tasty piece in the flesh. You did. We got to get back to that. that. That's what the kingdom is about. The kingdom is about all of us looking out for each other. It, it, it's not. It's not. I got mine. See, this kingdom breed competitors. I gotta talk better than you, look better than you, drive faster than you, run faster than you, lift more weights than you, have more money than you. You dig? Have a better car than you. Babylon breeds competitors. The kingdom of the Most High is all about all of us looking out for each other. And Messiah did that. He rarely prayed for himself. He always was praying for who? Us. See that? that? And this is, so what Paul is going over is the mindset of God. 
the mindset of Yah, when which Yahushua had in him, and we supposed to have in us. Remember Paul saying that one, who weak and I'm not weak. Who offended and I burn not. If one of y'all jacked up, I'm jacked up. You see what I'm saying? With that type of mindset, we'd be a powerful force to be a reckoned with. You can't mess with nobody like that because they all, they're, 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 not, they're not individuals. You feel me? Like, if I look at Jay Heasy, I see myself. He look at me, he see himself. I look at Demonica, I see myself. See, I mean, if you start when it says love your neighbor as yourself, that means you both to love on that person like it's you. Like it's, like it's you. And you know you ain't going to do nothing to bring harm to yourself, right? Right. You both to look at your brother and sister as if they are you. You dig? If you hurt, I'm hurt. Yeah. And the next level up, because you're supposed to be like Messiah, guess what? The Messiah, the most high supposed to be able to look at his creation and say, I'm looking good today. And then what the Messiah came to do, he came to serve, right? That's right, to serve. Now watch this. It says, verse 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Mashiach, Yahushua. Last scripture, John 14. We're going to close on out. Hey, can you, uh, I think it was Rock that sent someone to WhatsApp the other day. Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Okay, I ain't even got up. Matter of fact, I ain't even, I, you got your, uh, yeah. my 16 at the crib. You can pull that when you're ready. All right, John 14, y'all. We're going to read verse 1 through 14. Something that we need to know in this final hour. All right, go forth, heal the sick, cast out devils, right? But you get, hey, remember what he said, though. You can't spoil what he said, any, a strong man's house until you bind that strong man. That's right. You got to bind that spirit. And as simple as you tell, I bind you. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. I bind you in the name of Yahushua, the Mashiach. I bind you and cast you forth now. I plead the blood of Yahushua Mashiach against every spirit of sickness. Every spirit. Loose yourself and get about here now. You dig? You just, you constantly bang on it. You dig? And you know, you, you, yeah, you're going to look, you're going to, manifestation happen. Meaning, have that person sitting down. Because, you know, Messiah, when he was doing these things, boy, he just let you fall out. <laughs> Bye. <Bah. laughs> Boy, they hit the deck, convulsion. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think we a little more, we show a little more mercy. <laughs> like, hey, sister, sit down. <laughs> because right. look, sit if down, something man. manifests, boy, you hitting the flow. Right. You may, you may, you may free, you may freeze up and hit the flow in this deal. You dig? But uh, you will see manifestation because what you're dealing with is invisible enemies that tremble at the name of the Most High. They tremble at the name of his son. Yeah. And he said, because I go to my father, you're going to do what I do and even greater. Yeah. You feel me? So one of the things you say is in the name of Yahushua, Hamashiach, who is sitting right now at your right hand. Yeah. You feel me? Him being there gives you a red line to the Most High's throne. You get a red line. A direct access, in other words. Hallelujah. Feel me? Start talking to them, them spirits that be on them people. And they ain't me like, man, look, I need, I need it up off me. Yeah. Come on, do you mind? Do I mind? Now let's get it. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, okay, I'm, I'm ready to hit some tops. <laughs> let's get it done. And what you're going to see is them, they, in the spirit realm, that name is how it ring bells. Is highly respected. You understand? Highly respected. It just takes for us to switch up our thinking. This is not spookism. This ain't even Christianity. They was casting out devils way before Christianity was even formed. This is Bible we talking. All right? Yeah, inspiring words. Yeah, no doubt. John 14. Shay, can you get that for me? Yeah, we're going to read 1 through 14 up. One through fourteen, we're gonna close on up. 
Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believed in the Most High, believe also in me. So, you see, don't let your mind. Remember, he ain't gave us a spirit of fear. He said, if you believe in the Most High, believe also in me. Why? Because he was sent by his father. His name means Yah's deliverer or Yah's savior. That's what Yahoshua mean or Yahushua. Every brother say it. I don't even argue with that either. You know what I'm saying? All, all I can do is vouch for the names the demons respect when I've been getting down. You feel me? My brother say Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yahweh, I heard all of it. Ahaya, Yahweh, Yahweh, whatever. I don't even argue with it. It's just where I've seen the power manifest that is what I use when it's time to get down. Hallelujah. But to argue against pronunciation, I don't even do all that. Because it's about the heart anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's about the, 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 the faith that, look, this is coming about here. All right? So he said, you believe in the most. I believe in me. Right? Now watch this. Go ahead. Verse 2. In my father's house are many mansions. Man, I want one. How about y'all? I want one. Come on, Hebrew. If it were not so, yeah. I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Mm. Verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. These are promises. Right? Not, not a maybe or an if. Promise. All right, go ahead. I that where I am, there ye may be also. And will I go, ye know. And the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Great king, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Yahushua HaMashiach saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's right. Now look, that's not a blanket statement. Right? He's the path to the Father. No matter what no type of non-Messianic try to tell you. They try to flip through it in the Hebrew, and we parse the phrase, and then I look, 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 we pass all that. You dig? We can go into the Hebrew too and disprove what you're saying. You understand? But when you put his name and his blood into action and you start seeing results, it ain't a YouTube video nobody can send you to get you not to believe. You feel me? The demons are crying out. People are being healed in his name. What you mean he ain't real? You see, he's the, he's the path to the Father. And that's not a blanket statement, y'all. That's not in there just because somebody who had a conspiracy. It's the truth. It's the only path. Yeah, the only path to the Most High. All right, go ahead. Verse 7. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. Mm. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Great king, show us the father, and it sufficeth us. Y'all sure how much y'all said unto him, I've been so long time with you, mm. and yet hast thou not known me, mm. Philip? Philip, he that hath seen me hath seen the Father. Flat out, because he's the expressed image of his Father, the true image of the invisible God. He said, "If you're looking at me, you're looking at the Father." You see? Watch this. Go ahead. And how sayest thou then? Show us the Father. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? Mm. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. Come on. But the Father that dwelleth in me, uh. he doeth the work. He doeth what? The work. The, the, what you saw the Messiah doing, what we read about, it was the Father working in him. Absolutely. It was the Father. Father. The Holy Spirit, the set-apart Spirit, the Spirit of his Father in him. He was doing the work. See how he gave the glory to the Father? That's why we, we can never take credit for anything. He had glory to the Father. All right, go ahead, Hebrew. Verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works. He like, you don't believe me because you got some type of preconceived notion. Believe the work. Believe the word. You don't believe me just because you just don't like the fact I ain't a tall man or I speak a little bow. Believe, but look at the work that's getting done and just compare the work. Look at the naysayer and then look at the and then look at the person he's talking about. Y'all, all you gotta do is examine footprint. 
footwork. Let's look at what's getting done. Whoever somebody is mad at, look at their work and then look at the person they're talking about. You understand? And if the work don't measure up to what they say about the person nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten, you feel me? It's because that person mad, they're lacking in themselves. You feel me? Somebody can say whatever they want, but if the man work is ringing bells out here, you, what you really saying don't add up. You feel me? You can say he not anointed all you want, but if the work is showing he is, then it don't matter you or you didn't accept Christ. His work proved who he was. What well, it matter the Pharisees say, oh, he a deceiver. He's a male factor. He a troublemaker. If you if, if you just, whenever somebody telling you something about whoever, you feel me? So you don't get deceived by what they saying. Look at the work of the individual, the, the naysayer and the individual they talking about. And if you examine the work and the work of the person he talking about, don't measure up to what they saying about him. You understand? Guess what? Guess where you should arrive at in your mindset? Oh, you just envious because you're lacking within yourself somewhere. Because what you say about him don't add up because of the work that's getting done. That's what the Messiah is saying right there. Let's examine the work. Because anybody can make something sound good. You know, we professional joners. You can join with somebody all day long. But what work is getting done? All right, go ahead, Hebrew. Verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, yeah. he that believeth on me, the works that I do, yeah. shall he do also. Y'all, that's a promise. If you believe, then the works the Messiah was doing, you shall do. He just said it. He said it in red letter. Right. You feel me? It all comes down to belief in you within yourself. The works that I do, he shall do also. Come on, Hebrew. And greater works than these and shall he do. And greater. Not just the works that I do, greater. Go ahead. Because I go unto my father. Because he's with his father at the right hand. And, and that's where you attack Satan from. Your position in the Messiah who right now is at the right hand of the Heavenly Father. You understand? Y'all, it's contracts. You, you, you confess and make contracts with your mouth. That's it. You put them on notice. By the blood and by his name. You dig? Come on, Hebrew, let's get it. Verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, mm. that the Father may be glorified in the Son. That whatsoever is asked in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, it will be done. He said, that will I do. do. Y'all, these are promises. Come on, Hebrew. Verse 14. Yeah. You shall ask anything in my name, huh. I will do. I will what? I will do. Y'all see our weapons we got. We got his name, we got his blood. You know what I'm saying? He said he will do it. Mm. Man, you can't make this type of stuff up. It's all about whether you believe or not. Well, let me slide down to 18. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. 18, verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Verse 18. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Hallelujah. Promise. Hallelujah. It's a promise, right? Promise. Oh, praises. Go ahead and pick a psalm so we can get on about here, Hebrew. Go ahead and pick a psalm. J to the E's, if you can read that on out. Read that, read that psalm on out, brother. And let's go ahead and get her done. Y'all get some understanding today? All uh, praises. Hey, cast out devils and heal the sick. Go forward and understand you got authority over Satan in his entire kingdom. Yeah, his entire kingdom. Don't watch a movie like Poke the Geist and get scared of it. I see the head spin around. Nah, ain't nothing to be scared of. Ain't nothing to be afraid of. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Believe it, know it, and claim it. It is what it is. All right, come on. Let's get her done, y'all. Let's go ahead and face. Go ahead and face Yarushalayim. Yarushalayim. Yeah. Thank you, Lord.
like my grandchildren say, taint wait, taint wait. Taint wait. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We bring, we bring before the throne of the Most High all the sick in Israel, all those that are uh, demon-possessed, uh, you know what I'm saying? All those who may be sick in this hour, you understand? We plead the blood of Yahushua Mashiach against every sickness and against every unclean spirit, every spirit of burning, every spirit of inflammation, every spirit of fever, everything that they claim ain't no cure for. We bind it and cast it forth now. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, we plead the blood of Yahushua Mashiach against any unclean and evil spirit that's attempting to plague Israel, whether it be a spirit of depression, whether it be a soul tie spirit, whether it be a spirit of sadness, whether it be a spirit of despair, a spirit of fear, a spirit of doubt. We bind them and cast them forth right now in the mighty name of Yahushua. We plead the blood. Of Yahushua against every unclean and evil spirit yeah. that's in opposition to the throne of the Most High and against the testimony of His Son. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Yeah, praise the mighty Yah. Let's praise get that song. Praise the mighty Yah. Yeah. 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 Psalm chapter eighty-six with the Most High's permission. A prayer of David. Bow down, thine ear. O Most High, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O Thou everlasting, save Thy servant that trusteth in Thee. Be merciful to me, unto me, Most High. For I cry unto Thee daily, rejoice the soul of Thy servant. For unto Thee, O Most High, do I lift up my soul. For Thou, yod heh are good and ready to forgive. And plenty of the mercy unto all them, unto all them that call upon thee. Yes. Give ear, O Most High, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods, there is none like unto thee, O Most High. Neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made, shall come and worship before thee, O Most High, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, for thou art great, and doest wondrous things. Thou art the Most High alone. Teach me thy way, O everlasting. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my earth to fear thy name, my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Most High, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O Most High, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Most High, or Elohim, full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O oh, turn unto me, and have mercy unto me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it, and be ashamed, because thou, O oh, yod hey wad hey, hast uphold in me, and comforted me. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say la! Say la! Yahoo! Yeah! We have a little king of kings, baby! Man, I ain't read this song in a minute. Man, that's a good one, that boy. You know, they be powerful, that boy. Wow, man. All right, y'all, we about earth. Uh, all praise, glory, now to the Most High. I want to create and possess of all things, forever live as anointed, beloved son, and the hearts and minds of the faith we lick, and the honor and humility, STL. No keys of deck ministries. You understand? Hey, look, cast out devils and heal the sick, man. Raise the dead and cleanse lepers. You understand? Get out here and put your hand to the plow and get the building for the time is short. Strap up a backup, yo.